gonna want to pull us. Gay ass? That's not nice. I take that as a personal insult, and I don't appreciate it. So, take that as you will. How about that? How about dem apples, okay? You're gay ass. It's my is the game lagging? I can't even tell. I don't think it's lagging. We'll see how this goes. It might be interesting. Start playing and see how it goes. I'll watch it on my other monitor. Making sure the game doesn't run like dog shit on stream. Because I might. Merry Christmas to you too. I am here. Well, welcome. Also, make tell me if the audio is too loud for the game or not. Just let me know if it is. I'll change it as we go along. Mountain? No, this isn't Skyrim. What am I doing? I haven't seen you in a hot while. How have you been? Pretty good. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Celebrating good old Christmas, you know? How do I get in? Do I go in here? Gaming? Yeah, gaming. Good old gaming. I decided. It's the least Christmas game that I'm playing right now, but I'm gonna play it anyways. Because this game's pretty cool. I kind of enjoy it. <laughs> the least Christmas game ever. What are you doing here? Have you heard? There's a war going on. My name's John Marston. I've been sent here to retrieve a couple of men. Can I speak to your commander? What did Acer Thorn drink? Well, that's me. I'm drinking alcohol. I'm also eating a hot dog, some type thing. I'm not sure what I'm eating. Oh, I just left. I went AFK. Don't mind that. I'm still here. I'm currently downloading Death Stranding. What should I do to hear myself from boredom when playing it? Uh, play a better game. Like, play Red Dead Redemption, because this game's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> relax! Let me relax! <laughs> sure. Somewhere between a threatening stare and the soldier's arm to the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, you had me. Welcome to Mexico, amigo! Let's go meet What kind of alcohol? I'm drinking Kraken rum with some coke. And it's a pretty damn good right now. I'm not gonna lie. Is in pain, John Maxwell. Terrible pain. The rebels have seized the people by the throat. You playing on the emulator? I sure am. Playing it at a smooth 60 FPS, upscale at 1080p, and it's very nice. Never played Red Dead Redemption? You should play him. Good game. The second one's alright. I don't mind the second one. But I definitely like this one more. This one's really cool. I've been trying out from software games, like Souls, like games. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh man, this game. This game is interesting. What a fascinating game. I'm trying to find a man, an American, an outlaw named Bill Williamson. 
believe he came here to seek protection from another outlaw named Javier Escuela. You're no motorist, but you hunt outlaws? So it would seem. You heard anything of these men? I am the governor, or what is left of it. Outlaws seek each other. They're possibly hiding with thieves and killers who pose as freedom fighters in the hills. Oh, man. This is some nice alcohol. What a nice little Christmas. I've been listening to all of Marilyn Manson's albums. Best album is Then Our Antichrist Superstar in Hollywood. Oh. We're not telling stories, we're changing lives. Hell yeah, man. My men are trying to lure him into I still need to play this? Definitely give it a shot. I've heard that you can play this game on, like, the newer consoles and have it upscaled at 60 FPS. Either way, you should play this game. You could try the second one, too. I actually played the second one first, and then I tried playing this one. Um, definitely prefer this one more so far. For very specific reasons. <laughs> the second one's alright. That one's more story-driven than gameplay-driven. This one's somewhat story-driven, too. But I like this one more because it's more gameplay-driven. And it doesn't have, like, extremely annoying mechanics like the second one. Wait, where are we going? I guess I'm following. I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't even crossed the border and I was being shot at. You will hear a lot of words like Hope Indiana Jones 5 has something funny for you to make fun of next year. We'll see. We'll see. That's definitely on the list of things I'm going to make a video on for a definite fact. I mean, I know that. <laughs> I'm going to make a video on that fucking movie. No matter how the quality is. It might be a good movie. I don't know. You know, that'd be shocking. Me making a phrasing an Indiana Jones Five movie. Like, yeah, this is actually pretty good. But the chances of that are extremely fucking slim. Yeah, I played the second one. It was fun, I guess. The second one's all right. I don't mind the second one. It's just certain things that it has in there for immersion kind of annoys the fuck out of me. The mechanics did get kind of annoying. They did. Here, give me a second. I'm going to turn down the audio a bit so we could, I could hear myself think. Give me a second. I, I, I do find the story in this game pretty interesting, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk, you know? But one thing that really got in the way in Red Dead 2 was the fucking... Um, was like picking up individual cans of beans or watching through an animation of fucking looting corpses and stuff. That shit's annoying. While in this game, you just run over the corpses and you gather their shit, which is really nice. And it's a quick cutscene if you go into it, so. Feels weird that Mahler is defending Ragnarok from any criticism when he usually criticizes media even if he likes it. Yeah, you know, it's, you know, it's people for you. The second one is more of a prequel. This one is more of a continuation. I'm not going to spoil because I don't want to spoil this game for you. Oh, I already know what happens. I know this game. I, I've played the second one. I know the story of this one. I don't mind. Like, you could, you could spoil it. I know exactly what happens in this game. But, um, yeah. Yeah, the second one's more of a prequel, which is funny because that's the one I played first. And, like, if you play that one first and then go to this game, it's pretty interesting. Very, you have more context of what people are talking about in this game, and I kind of like that a lot. Um, I'd be curious about the people that played this game first and then played the second one, if they feel like they ruined a lot of the context and story of this game, or if it added to it. I'd be curious what people think about that, because I'm not in that camp, so... How you feel about the new Alien movie in the works? There's a new Alien movie? Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Not a new Alien movie. I know the second one is a prequel to this one. Yeah, it's a prequel. One of the few prequels that I'd say work. Shockingly. There's only three mediums that I know that prequels have worked really well. Red Dead Redemption 2, 
Um, Better Call Saul. And... What was the third one? There was a third prequel. There was another film that was a prequel to something. And I was like, you know what? That was a pretty decent prequel. And I can't remember what it was right now. Shit, what was the third prequel? I don't know. It'll come It'll come to me in like a random fucking day. I'll be like, oh yeah, that's the movie I was thinking of. But right now, I can't think of the other prequel that was really fucking good. Neil Breen is a f bad filmmaker. All right, you you get timed out, sir. You don't you don't bring that type of attitude in this chat. No, no. You 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 are speaking heresy. You're getting banned, blocked, reported. Um, I'm following you on Twitter and then unfollowing you and blocking you on Twitter for you saying that. You don't you don't say shit like that. That is. That's like saying Hitler's still alive. You just don't... No. Mm -mm. No, I, no, you don't say Neil Breen's a bad filmmaker in this room. What is wrong with you? There's also a Back to the Future TV series. Oh, no, really? Oh, no. It'll be directed by the dude that made Don't Breathe an Evil Dead remake. Oh. That guy. Okay. He also made fucking Death Note, right? That Death Note Netflix movie? That's the guy you're talking about? Is the new Alien movie a sequel to Alien Covenant? Probably. Is the Metro game? I'm hoping where will be the fourth game go. You know, that's interesting. I've never played them. Oh, actually, that's a lie. I played Metro... Whatever the new one was. I played the new one for like... An hour? And fuck, man. I mean, I can see the appeal of that game, but... That first hour was... <laughs> kind of tough for me to get through. It's probably a really good game, though. I should give it another shot. How was your Christmas? I It was great. I got, I got an awesome gift, and I'm proud of it. I'm really happy with my new gift. I love the original Red Dead Redemption. Starting to get into it this year very solid game yeah it's a great game i really much enjoy it i like it a lot more than the second one that's for sure welcome to band world buddy yeah how was your christmas wonderful i had a beautiful christmas i will soon watch two bad wait two baldy fleas soon to repent my sins god help me oh No, that's Adam Winberg. What do you mean? Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm thinking the wrong person. Okay. Drink eggnog? I would, but I don't have any eggnog in my house. I do have, um... I do have Coke, which is why I made rum and Coke. I would drink eggnog and rum. R eggnog and rum is fucking good. I really like eggnog and rum. Wait, what am I doing? I wasn't paying attention. Am I destroying the train? Okay. I'm a little confused. What am I doing? I shouldn't have paid attention. Shit, that was my fault. I was reading chat and stuff. What was I doing? Do I get in a train? Hi there. Do I shoot you? I'm gonna shoot. Oh, I can't shoot them. Okay. Good to know. How do you feel about Will Smith downfall? Will Smith downfall, huh? I mean, uh, good for him, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't seen a lot of Will Smith movies. Last time I saw a Will Smith movie was, uh,. Shit, what was the last Will Smith movie I saw? I don't even remember. Oh no, Will Smith isn't that great of an actor, honestly. I never found him that compelling. Oh, I found him like another version of Ryan Reynolds, where he just plays the same character over and over again. How did you not die? There we go. I'm 
Man Red Dead Redemption, the hit sequel to Red Dead Redemption 2, does look like a lot of fun. I should go back to this game. Yeah, it's a great game. I love the set pieces. The set pieces are fucking great. Great. You protect the train? Oh, uh, okay. Do you recommend it or not? I never played Saints Row 2. PC port is awful. There's a mod to fix it. Oh, for Saints Row. Have you watched Black Adam? I did. I had the mispleasure of watching that fucking movie. Oh, boy. What a movie that was. Get shot, fucked her. Fucked her. What's good? Pretty, uh, not much, actually. Just playing some Red Dead Redemption. We might watch videos. Is there any videos you guys may want to watch today? We could watch videos. We could check out the normal, casual stuff that we normally check out. Like, Generation Hope and shit, you know? See what they've been up to. See if they anyone make Christmas specials. I'm up for Christmas specials. Oh, shit. I'm getting a phone call. One moment. I have to, someone's calling me. I don't know why. I'm sorry about that, guys. I just got a phone call, and I've been getting phone calls all day saying Merry Christmas and stuff. So, it's better than I ignore them and just take them, you know? Anyways, I'm sorry. Yo, Bernie G, thanks for the 99 cents. I appreciate it. Have you watched Amsterdam? I don't think I have. I don't think I've seen that. My dad got me Red Dead 2 for Christmas. Oh, that's actually a pretty decent birthday present. Honestly... With my promise with Red Dead 2, still a pretty damn decent game, honestly. About James Gunn controlling half of DC movies in 2023. Eh, I don't know. I, I like James Gunn in a lot of ways. But after watching Peacemaker, my, <laughs> my standards for that man has fucking dramatically dropped. But, you know what? I'll keep an open mind. <laughs> New PFP, how is it? I can't see it from here, I'm sorry. It looks nice. Watch some Darman. He made some Christmas videos. You know, okay, we'll check out Darman. How about, we'll, we'll, we'll give Darman a watch. I don't know, just Darman doesn't hit the same anymore, but we'll give him a shot. Neil Breen wishes you a Merry Christmas? Fuck, man, I wish. If Neil Breen called me right now and wished me a Merry Christmas, I would cry. I would genuinely cry. I'd be like, my my hero just called me. So, how you feel about EFAB nowadays? Ah, I don't I don't watch them anymore. The only thing I watched from there from theirs was their uh, that synthetic man video specifically because I find synthetic man a fascinating character, and even from that, I just I don't know I could not care <laughs> i just i kept blanking out i think red dead 2 can be slow at parts but it's like a 
every Rockstar game. Yeah, but the, the slow parts in Red Dead 2 are way slower than this game. Like, honestly, this game picks up fairly quick, honestly. And I died. <laughs> Darman is way too long nowadays. That's another thing. He makes way too long of videos. Like, th that style of content does not work with slow, like, long videos. I bought $50 of Steam games and refunded $50 of Steam games. Ah, okay. Have you watched The Batman? Uh, the one with, uh, uh, Adam West? Yes, I have. I have seen The Batman with Adam West. Fucking classic. Is Daniel Breen a video game director? Nah, Todd Howard... Todd Howard ain't wishes he could be Neil Breen. Let's be honest here. Are you going to respond to videos on stream? Hell yeah. Yeah, we can watch some videos. Yeah, yeah, we could definitely watch some videos. I was just going to play a little bit of Red Dead 2. Well, not 2, but play a little bit of Red Dead because, I don't know, this game's kind of cool. Pirating games. What should I pirate? What should you pirate? Um, single player games mostly. I can't think of any right now to pirate, honestly. I can't think of any. Because I, I sometimes pirate games, but it depends on the game. Like Red Dead 2 I actually bought. I actually have that game. I'm trying to think, what, what games have I pirated lately? That's the thing, I haven't pirated games in a while. <laughs> I haven't had a reason to. Like, uh, Gabe Newell says about pirating. What you do is just make it super easy for people to actually buy your product instead of making them have to pirate. And Gabe Newell's right about that, because sometimes pirating could be a fucking hassle. To be honest with you. Especially with the multiplayer game. Are you playing on an emulator? I sure am. Playing on a good old emulator. That's why you'll see some weird graphical glitches here and there. I got a good one for you. One called Fallout 3 is a perfect RPG. I think I've seen that before. I Someone recommended that to me and I watched it a little bit. So I remember that name. Well, we, we can watch it. Sure, why not? We can watch it on stream. We'll do this one mission, because I don't want to play games for too long. I don't want to be Griffin here and play Call of Duty for, like, three and a half hours, and then go to videos for an hour. No, what, what we'll do is, like, I'll play maybe this one mission, maybe another one, depending on how people feel. And then we'll just skip right to videos and just watch bullshit, you know? Talk about bullshit. You know, this, this is gonna be a nice little... Oh my god. I am not gonna die. No. That ain't happening, kid. Oh, Jesus. Now I need to go to the other side. This is actually a really cool set piece. I like the set piece. This is a really cool one. Defend a fucking train while on horseback. I like this. I don't know. This is really nice. Would you make a video on Black Adam? No. <laughs> no. It's not worth my time. I don't know. When, whenever I make videos on movies, just breaking them down, it has to be one of those movies that are just so god-awful that it just deserves fucking breakdown of it. Like, Multiverse of Madness was that bad. That film, I was able to find a fucking flaw every ten seconds, and it's just like... Damn, what an awful film. Man, these Mexicans sure do like to carry dynamite. You darn Mexicans. You beaners. How did you not die from a headshot? There you go. Know. 
I just wish the graphics didn't look like crap. What, for this game? Oh, for DMZ. Wait, what game? What's good, Potato? Just playing NFS Unbound, trying to get the Platinum Trophy before my B-Day tomorrow. Oh, uh, happy early birthday. Um, I will, I will drink some rum and coke to your birthday. How about that? It must be torture recording Griffin's COD gameplay for hours just for him to not watch videos. That's why he took a break for a while. <laughs> have you watched Tales of the Jedi? I have not. I have not seen our, the definition of dopamine frying. <laughs> When's Twilight Zone Part 3? Fuck, man. I completely forgot about that series. One day, one day I will make the video, maybe. How's he not dead? There you go. Not to shoot his fucking horns. Another thing I like about Red Dead 1 over Red Dead 2, regeneration health. Which is, or regenerating health. That's actually really nice, because in Red Dead 2, the health system is fucking annoying same with the horse stamina and horse health it's so annoying in fucking red dead 2 this game is just so much better it's so much simplistic so much simpli is that a word simplicity it's not even a sentence it's so much more simplistic there we go fucking english what's wrong with me rockstar is flawed with their games but they make great experiences I agree. They, you could throw a lot of shade at Rockstar games. But you have to admit, they make some high quality fucking games. I was watching a video on YouTube of someone showing a clip of Red Dead 2. And it was like titled, Why is GTA 6 taking so long? And it shows a clip of Red Dead 2 of this random encounter of people hammering railroad tracks. And if you zoom in, you can actually see the nail being hammered in. And it's like, fuck, man. The attention to detail of these games are fucking spot on. It's crazy. They put so much detail into the smallest things in, the, in their games. It's pretty crazy. Say what you will about their games, but they, they care about their quality. Do you think Starfield will be a flop? It won't be a flop, but... Well, I mean, it depends what you mean by a flop. Like, financially? For, for Bethesda? Probably not. On quality of how the game is, most likely. Where are you originally based, sir? Where am I originally based? Um, I guess I was originally based in Britain. But then, I wasn't there for long. Because when I was, like, not even a year old, I moved to America, so... Why do you hate Jordan Peele? Because his movies are awful. Well, I don't hate the guy. I just think he makes incredibly flawed films. <laughs> He's probably a nice dude if I talk to him in real life. Unless if he starts telling me about, like, fucking... I don't know. Bullshit. Have you ever played Two Worlds? It's a really crappy RPG, but it's very fun. Lots of freedom. I don't think I played that, no. I doubt that is your face camera. Wow, man. You don't love how I look? That's fucking insulting. It's insane. GTA 5 came from the 360. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Wait, now I have to kill the people on the train? Can I jump on the train? I would love to fight people on the train. That'd be pretty cool. I know that's a set piece in Red Dead too. Maybe I just have to follow him and shoot people off of it. Get alongside the front and jump onto the train. Alright, I can do that. Hiya! Opinion on Get Out? Um, 
extremely, extremely overrated. You should use Hassan Abby's chair as the face cam. Well, no, I, I, I like my face cam. Look at that. That's my beautiful, sexy face right there. Is your parents British? Um, one is, one isn't. Playing AC1 right now, although there are things I love about this game. Some jank? Well, yeah, of course. The first game in any series is going to have some jank. You're just going to have to, like... If it's an old enough game, you're just going to have to, like, kind of accept it at that point. Alright. So, I did my one mission. I'll let you guys decide. Here, I'll, I'll even put up a poll. Can, I, can you still do polls? Start a poll. Uh, what shall we do? Play more RBR and chat. Videos. There you guys go. Make your votes. Okay. I got two worlds for like $3. And I put 15 hours in already. Oh, that's that's actually pretty nice. Originally got Fallout 1, Fallout 2, and Tactics. So I'm about to have the best kind of fun. Fallout 1 and 2 are great. Tactics is... Eh, it's alright. It's more of an act... Well, more of a... What is it called? I forgot the name of it. Time-based strategy? I don't know. But it's less of an RPG. We need to be told that is a face cam? Of course. People will be confused. That's me. I'm one-sixth Jewish, but I still celebrate Christmas. Hell yeah, man. Have you watched Candyman? I have not. Have you seen Cosmonaut Variety Hour on Lord of the Rings? I have not. Um... I don't, I have no interest in Lord of the Rings. Good, good game. I mean, good movies, right? Very good franchise. I just, I don't know. Not for me. And Cosmonaut Variety Hours, I don't know. <laughs> he, uh, I don't think he makes the best type of videos, honestly. More RDR than vids? Well, we'll see here. It looks like videos winning by, like, a little bit, but. I've come to like really drink games for the biggest landmass in the world. Hmm. Have you played Far Cry 6? It's pretty good. Your horse was unable to find you. You must have more open area and whistle again. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't played Far Cry 6. The last Far Cry game I played... Actually, the only Far Cry game I played... Was Far Cry 3, and that was for maybe 4 or 5 hours, like, not even 7 or 8 years ago at this point, so. I don't know. My my interest in Far Cry games is very, very low. <laughs> Favorite Batman movie? Of course, Batman and Robin. I mean, obviously. American British potato. See, that doesn't slip off the tongue as well. So what's winning on the... Wow, it's 50-50. Shit. Wow. Um. Huh. Well, that's a, that's a conundrum. <laughs> okay. Second channel could be American potato. Why have it a second channel, though? Honestly, that's my biggest question. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's my biggest question. Why have a second channel? I never understood that, right? Like, yeah, maybe a second channel for stream uploads, right? I can understand that. But why have a second channel in general for, like, another genre? Like, my friend Anomaly, right? He has a second channel for gaming, and then he has his main channel for, like, movie breakdowns and stuff. I was like, I don't know why. Why would you do that? I would just put them both up on one channel and just call it a day, you know? But, yeah, anyway. People, people may have their reasons for two channels. And it's like, whatever. Go with it. I guess. What the fuck's going on up there? It's a racial slur for potatoes, yeah. Do you like the Dark Knight trilogy? Um... I like The Dark Knight. I don't like uh, Batman Begins or 
What was the other one? What was the other Dark Knight film? Dark Knight Rises, was it? I don't like that one either. Fucking Dark Knight Rises. Ugh. <laughs> that film was... Whew. Huh? That was... That was a stinker right there. Flip a coin. Could do that, huh? Well, now it's at 55%. And it looks like it's videos. So what I'll do is that I will... I will kill these apparently bandits over here. And then we'll go to videos. My mic is very quiet. Here, give me a second. Here, let me fix that. <sighs> if it's really quiet, I'll fix it. Give me a second. Let me know if this is better. Not yet. It might be because I'm talking quiet. Because I'm, I'm just kind of a quiet person. Which is funny if you watch my videos. I'm not normally quiet. But if you watch my videos, I am. Give me a second. Give me a second. There. Okay, how's that? Is that any better for you guys? Is it quiet still, or is that too loud? I don't want to blow your fucking eardrums out, but I did lift it up by like 10 decimals. So let me know that's good enough for you guys. And then let me put the stream back up. Give me a second here. Yay, videos. Do you watch Man of Steel? Uh, I watched it once. Are you working on any videos? No, I have like no videos on mine. Have you seen how restoration videos are faked? I have not seen that. I'm trying to make videos on my Steam Deck. It seems like it's going to be lots of fun. It's an interesting process. Mic is fine. No, it's good. Okay. All right. It sounds good now? All right, cool. Sorry it was low. I don't like making a low microphone. Now I have no audio for the game, though. That's really strange. Why did that happen? All right, let me uh, let me make a camp. Let me save, and then we'll go on the videos. Your face is cute. Not gonna lie. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad someone notices the beautiful sexiness in my face. You know, I was thinking the receding hairline was was gonna draw people away, but I'm glad that people find it as a feature at this point. All right, um, let me open up YouTube real quick. And we'll get into videos. Opening up YouTube right now. Do 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 and then let's make it that okay all right okay let's do some videos um the only thing i have is a steam deck dock and crappy mic i mean if you're gonna i i heard the steam deck mic is actually pretty good He's working on OnlyFans content? Hell yeah, man. I have his... Oh, I already read that. Well, you... Have you watched... Buo is Afrin when it comes out? I've never even heard of that. Where have you been? I've been working. I've been doing life stuff. You know? That's what I've been doing. But today... Today, maybe... We will find a video that's worth um making a video for i don't know that's that's what a stream is all about is finding things that are interesting to respond to you know what's your opinion on avatar 2 <laughs> um shit i don't even know where to start with that film hey you know what that's an interesting topic how about we find a review that's praising the fuck out of that film and maybe we can talk about it that way 
but what do you guys want to watch first? I heard there was a Darman Christmas special, so we'll start off with that. Darman's Christmas feature film. An hour and 44 minutes? Fuck, man, I'm sorry. I, lo I don't, I don't want to watch an hour and 44 minute film of Darman. That ain't happening. We'll watch something a little bit short. A lot shorter than that. <laughs> like, fuck. Um, kid becomes a grown-up for 24 hours. That sounds awful. You know what? People were, were recommending uh, Darman videos in my suggestions in Discord. Someone just spammed a fuck ton of Synthetic Man videos. Um, Let's see here. Pregnant lady kicked out of the house. Uh, man fakes his resume to get a job. Rival gangs face off in school. Oh, God, these sounds all bad. Kid completes 100 dares in 24 hours. What the fuck is this? I loved Avatar 2. Ah, oh, man, I just... I don't know. That, that film was a blur. <laughs> Watch Synthetic Man's God of War review. The thing is, I haven't really played God of War Ragnarok. I played the first God of War for like 11 hours, and I dropped it right after, because I couldn't handle it, so. Missed you and your content. Keep up the good work and such. Oh, thank you. I will soon make an actual video, once I find a topic that's interesting to me. That's the problem with me. I'm, I, I like very... I have a very limited space when it comes to interesting topics. So I try to look for things that I find fascinating. Because sometimes when you're making a YouTube video, it could be really dreadful. Depending on if it's a topic you really don't want to talk about. So I, I always just try to make videos that I want to talk about. You know? <laughs> Not only is shilling Avatar 2 really hard. Oh god. Anomaly Inc. has been shilling Avatar 201. I like his stuff, but his fanboyism is this. You know what? Let's let's jump onto Anomaly real quick. Let's. I want to make something clear. I'm a friends with Anomaly. All right. He's a very. He's an interesting. That's not the right Anomaly. He's a really interesting creature. All right. I've worked with the guy. I've edited videos for him because he's a friend of mine. Right. The problem with Anomaly. Is that he's Australian. And Australians have a very, very short temper. And when you cross that short temper, some things happen. So, like, and, and specifically when it's things that he likes. So, oh my god, he said it was awesome. I don't know, 35 minutes. How was your Christmas? It was great. I got a wonderful Christmas present. The console fanboy stuff is getting really boring. It's been boring since 2015, man. All fanboy for Avatar 2. It was goaded. Maybe I have to watch it again, but I don't remember it much. Does Just because he's Australian doesn't mean he's a creature. He's not a creature. He's a fascinating human. How about that? <laughs> I like Anomaly. They also don't exist. I like Mad Max 1 to 3. Mad Max is cool. I like Mad Max. Kids rob a toy store on Christmas. See, this is the problem I'm talking about Darman. Darman doesn't have, like, really outrageous shit anymore. Like, he, he's not breaking new grounds. That's the problem with Darman. Let's see what Generation Hope has done for Christmas. Maybe we'll watch Gen Hope. Let's see. Um, Rich College, a lot of the gal calls kicking in quick. Rich college student attacks homeless family. Eh, okay. We'll look that one up. I just vibed with Avatar 2 so much. Hey, that's cool, man. You know, I, I, I fucking vibe with Batman and Robin. That film makes me smile every time I watch it. You're making a new Mad Max movie without Max in it? Oh. Well. 
I feel like people focus on bad stuff more than good stuff. I don't know that's true. Honestly. I, that, I can see why you have that perception. But, like, I'm going to give you guys an example of something here. Um, Have you guys ever seen the good, the bad, and the ugly? You guys probably heard this film millions of times, right? Um... I actually watched this movie yesterday with a friend that's never seen it. I've seen it before. This movie, th you could try focusing on the bad of it, right? But this movie is, like, actually really fucking good. It's such a good movie. But I think what the problem is, is that there's a lot of dog shit these days. A lot of dog shit. So... That's why people focus on the bad. When you get something that's actually genuinely really good, like the good, the bad, and the ugly from 1966, so I don't know why I'm bringing up 1966 as an example here, but it depends on how well you portray the, the medium you're showing, right? Um, Quentin Tarantino is an example of this. Like, whenever I watch a Quentin Tarantino film, I watch those films seeing if I could find out flaws because I Quentin Tarantino is a great director and writer and when you can find like maybe two or three flaws in a four hour movie you made a fucking solid ass movie when I was watching Avatar The Way of Water I was questioning the fucking plot like maybe every 10 minutes every 10 to 20 minutes in a four hour movie it's just like I don't know we're human beings you can't treat us have you played High on Live? High on Life, I assume you say. And no, I haven't, but I've seen enough of that movie to the point that it ruined Applebee's for me. That's all you need to know on that. I feel like people focus... Oh, yeah, especially when it comes to games. Games is an interesting medium to criticize, but I can see what you mean. The sixth video at the bottom is something all right. The sixth video on the bottom? What do you mean? You mean here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know what you mean. Anomaly short temper worked really well for the Revenge of the Prequels, but for other content, it gets the best of them. Eh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it happens with everybody. Everyone forgotten the plot of Avatar 1? That's very true. This this way. Well, let's let's watch some good old Darman. Well, this is Darman. No, this is Jen Hulk. Apparently, High on Life is a movie. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I'm talking about the prankster Jen Hulk video. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Chuck Talk prankster blows up teacher's car. I bet the CGI is fake, but. Sewer rats. I'm back. What we doing? We're watching Gen Hope. I was talking about for almost ten minutes about fucking quality of games and stuff. I was probably boring everybody, but now we're getting to videos. Almost fainted from the face cam. Oh, thank you. Belong in a neighborhood like this. I'm just trying to collect cans and bottles to recycle for money so that my daughter and I can eat. Maybe that's not the best way to make money for your, your daughter. I'm going to be honest with you. Recycling? This might sound like an Alex Jones take, but I'm going to go with it. Recycling is a fucking fraud. <laughs> I'm saying it, okay? Because I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you guys a life story. When I was like 12, maybe 13, I wanted to make money quick. And I heard, oh, recycling gives you money. And I was like, really? All I have to do is drink soda cans, put them in a trash bag, and make money off of it? Fuck yeah. And I did that for, like, maybe two or three years straight. And I had, like, fucking bags and bags and bags of fucking uh, soda cans and bottles and all this shit. And I turned it in. And I got 50 bucks. And I was like, really? I couldn't even buy Modern Warfare 3 with that. I was like, that's a fucking ripoff. <laughs> We're doing drugs, average YouTuber, when the new Neil Breen movie comes out. Dude, I can't wait for a new Neil Breen movie. It's going to be great. 
the mid head hairline is dashing. I'm glad, man. I work real hard to get that beautiful, sexy hairline of mine. Please don't touch that. It's all we have. Please, 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 no, no, no. God, please. Let me know how the audio is because I'm fixing it on my side too. But I want to make sure it's not like blasting in my ear, but it's not, not also really quiet for you guys. Because I'm a nice person like that. I don't want people to, you know, have weird fucking audio problems. I am really getting fucked up on this alcohol. But I don't care. It's great. And that's lots of cans. It was a lot of fucking cans. At least you got 50 bucks? Yeah, but 50 bucks? Come on, I couldn't even buy Modern Warfare 3 with that. Merry Christmas, Potato? Oh, Merry Christmas to you, Skids. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate you know oh I'm so sorry uh Henry K I, <laughs> I'm so sorry I just noticed you gave me a super chat too for two bucks and I appreciate it I just read the super chat and I didn't thank you for it I feel bad now I, thank you for the two bucks and thank you for the two bucks again skids I appreciate it it's very nice of you guys I don't even know why you're giving me money but thank you anyways I like how unrealistically evil the people are in these types of videos. I do too. Look, you always piece of trash. Why don't you just get a job? <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Why don't you just get a job? If you're so hungry, why don't you just get a job? He's got a point. How drunk are you? Um, I went to a birthday party. I had like, what was it? Five, six shots of uh, rum, funny enough. Then I came home, and I was still wanting alcohol. So I opened up my cabinet, and I grabbed some Kraken. And I've had three cups of rum and coke. So I'd say I'm not drunk, but I'm buzzed, and I'm happy with it. I should drink some wine. I hate wine. I'm. I'm. I, it's funny. I hate fucking wine. I think it's disgusting. Is it time for giving? Oh, I thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Darman villains, Marvel villains. Hell yeah. I mean, he's right. Just get a job. It's that easy. It really is. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think people underestimate how fucking easy it is to get a goddamn job. I mean, seriously, when I was 18, I applied to like four or five different stores and hell even applied to FedEx and I got the job at FedEx and I worked there until I was able to get my A plus certification so I could start up my semi little tiny business of like building, repairing and selling computers. And I just been living off of that. It don't works fine for me. I don't know. <laughs> Like, you you can make money easily. You just have to think of what you would want to do as a passion. Or what you would want to do as a career. Not a passion. Passion's different. So, it's just like, I don't know. It, it's just, you, you put the time in. You put the work in. And you get success. It's, it's that easy. As Billy Mays would say. Just buy a house? Exactly. Almost all the businesses in my area for higher signs, so you could make a killing these days. Exactly, you can make you can make money fucking mowing mowing someone's lawn for fuck's sake. Building and selling computers sounds fun. It's fucking great, man. It's such a good. If you guys know about building and selling computers and repairing them, it's actually a really nice hobby or not hobby job. I keep getting hobbies and jobs mixed up, but that's because my hobby is a job, honestly. I, I enjoy building computers. It's like big Lego sets. It's really fun. Uh, recycling bottles to get money is like killing low-level enemy that gives you 2 XP to level up. <laughs> You're going to get there, but it's going to take decades. Yeah. Are you allowed to make more have more than one job of course what that would be dumb of course you can have more than one job how much do you make off the top uh, 
How much do I make off the top of my um? <laughs> if I had to think, like, what was my last? What was my last like? I think I made like ten to fifteen grand at least a month. Ten to fifteen grand a month. Something like that. I live. I live good for myself. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I live very comfortable for myself. You know, I work at home. People tell me what's the problem with their computers. They ship it to my house. I fix their computers and I I make them go on their own lovely way. You know, it's it's a really nice job, and I live comfortable. You know, it's not that difficult. I I think people. Like this move, like this video, make it seem like it's fucking nails to get a job, but it's really not that difficult. Potato has a salary of six hundred thousand a month. If I did, I would not be here streaming. Just kidding. Just finished my rewatch of Breaking Bad. Gonna start Better Call Saul and play some Steam Deck. Nice. This dialogue sounds like something a two-year-old would write. Of course it does. Do you live in a house or apartment? I live in a condo. I live in a very nice condo. One kitchen, of course, one kitchen, like two two bedroom, one bathroom kit, uh, condo. It's really nice. I love it. Okay. By yourself is really good. Yeah, if you live by yourself, like ten k is fucking perfect to live off of. You got a nice little condo for yourself. And just live nicely for yourself, you know? And that's what I do. Mommy, how many more cans do we have to find? Oh, this Gen Hope, it sure is. Well, you guys barely got like 20 bucks. Not even 20 bucks. You barely have like $5 worth of cans. Oh, how lucky someone put all their cans in a box. That's very convenient for you guys. Why are you taking the cans individually? Just take the whole box. What the fuck? You guys are taking your sweet ass time. Hey, you just you just spilled that all over me. So this is the Amazon Fallout TV show? Yeah. You lady stink. Hey, don't talk to my mommy that way. Just a feisty little rat. Leave my daughter out of this. Y'all are nothing but two pathetic homeless people. Don't even matter. 10k may not kill for that for every month well that's just a rough st rust rough estimate and like it, it it varies on month to month it depends how busy i am because i kind of work on my own schedule almost like so yeah and it also depends how many people uh contact me asking me yo my computer's fucked up and it's like oh yeah okay yeah i can help you with that and then they send their computer, and it just depends. But if I had to do a rough estimate, it's like 10 to 15k, so. And they want to buy donuts, do they? Oh my. Homeless people, they're cl clearing in a building, yeah. George, with the 25 bucks, thanks man. Hello, potato? Hello, George. How are you? Do you prefer George or Jorge? <laughs> I'm okay with both. Wait, your name's not George. There's no E in, in the middle of your name. It's Gorge. Okay, sorry, sorry, Jorge. Your name's not George. It's Gorge. <laughs> but thank you for the 25. This for real sounds like a CD, CW dialogue. Not even joking. CW is... Say what you will about Batwoman. That shit was hilarious. Anything to you. No one talks like this? Welcome to Gen Hope. You just spit on her. I can't her? believe you just spit on me. He did. Okay. We're human beings. You can't treat us this way. We're not human beings. We're sewer rats. <laughs> You're sewer rats. Neighborhood like this. I'm just trying to collect cans and bottles to recycle for money so that my daughter and I can eat. I'm, s lady. You're not gonna survive off of fucking cans and bottles to eat. I mean, come on. You need to get a real fucking job, bitch. What are you smoking? In, in fact, I'm going to start smoking right now because you you are clearly smoking some high shit. Free girls in chat you city? No way. That's crazy. I'm just going to hide you right now. There we go. 
free vert girls. Hell yeah, man. There we go. The Flash was funnier seeing how bad the CGI of them running was. Yeah. Fallout 5 leaked dialogue. Yeah. I looked for Sarah Brand's channel and I found she's finally made a new song after one year from the Red Dress music. Really? She, wait, no way. She made a new video? You're fucking bullshitting me. Sarah Brand made a new fucking music video? No way. I remember her. Oh my god. She's the red dress lady. Oh my god. She didn't make a new video. On the surface. Behind. Oh my god. She made a new music video. To be fair with you. I haven't been keeping up with Sarah Brand for a long fucking time. But she made a new music video? Now I have to watch this. I'm sorry. We're going to make a site tour from fucking Gen Hope and watch Sarah Brand's new music video. Ma'am, she shouldn't have asked you to be in the new music video. I know. I want to fucking said yes. Hell yeah, man. What's your type of woman? What's my type of woman? Here, I'll show you a picture. This is my type of woman. Um... Ninety? What was it? Nineteen ninety? I'll just put nineties because I don't remember the exact year. This is my type of woman right here. There you go. That's my type of woman. Not not modern Jennifer Connelly. Not her. Okay, we're not talking modern. We're talking about like nineteen nineties Jennifer Connelly. All right, that's my type of woman right there. There you go. And that's my type of woman. The Flash is still bad. It's good. Hell yeah. <laughs> the potatoes type of woman is Sarah Brand. Dude, I'd rather fucking die. She's pretty? Hell yeah, man. Uh, Jennifer Connelly is a very... Well, she was very beautiful in the 90s. She's still very good looking for her age today. But I'd prefer her when she was like in her 20s. Because I'm in my 20s. 90s is pretty good looking? Yeah, exactly. Oh, my. Okay, I already hate this. <laughs> Whoever is playing the fucking violin... Is that the violin? I think that's the violin. Is sucking massive cock. I'll tell you a story now of pain I this is dubbed. I can tell. This is dubbed. She's not... She did this in the studio. Notice how her lips don't match with what she's saying. Look. I'll tell you a story now of pain I was endowed and That does not match. She dubbed this. This is clearly dubbed. What is she... What the fuck? Is she making an Italian film? Women is anything that's cute? I mean, exactly. I mean, I like very cute women. Wasn't Jennifer in the... In the 2003 Hulk movie? I have no idea. That's a fiddle? Is it a fiddle? Oh, okay. I don't know my instruments, so I might sound like a retard when I say a wrong instrument. Just letting you know. She didn't get plastic surgery like a lot of female actresses do when they get older. Yeah, that, yeah. I mean, I, like I said, Jennifer Conley, she's good for her age. She looks very good for her age. But I'd prefer her in her 20s, because I'm 20. Or... In the 20s. Can we all agree that your hairline is out of this world? Thank you. I appreciate that. I work very hard. <laughs> Dude, like, every time I look back at OBS and I see fucking my face cam, I just think, man, I am one sexy bastard. And like pop star visuals, the truth was never loud. I had love and bared my soul. He abused me to my core. Told me how to dress. Dude, she dubbed this. Okay. What did you think of Top Gun 2? I didn't get far in it. Um, When I watched Top Gun 2, I 
I don't know. My I couldn't really pay attention to that film if I was honest with you. <laughs> like I I could tell it was a very well crafted film. It was the same thing with Lord of the Rings. Like I just my brain shut off while watching it. I just could not give a fuck. <laughs> you know? I don't know how to explain those moments. I hate when I do those for movies that are genuinely really well made. I hate doing that. But, like, sometimes I just fucking do it off of, um... Not principle. Just off of just randomness. If I just don't appeal to the movie, I guess. I'm going to say that this is better than Red Dress, but that's not a big accomplishment. Is it, though? I mean, I guess. I mean, I guess so. She's not, like, completely off a of chorus. Do you like Jennifer Lawrence? Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a big no. I know it isn't Neil Breen, but damn, I know. I liked it a lot. I'm not... Like, I, I want to make it clear, like, I, I like to try to keep objective and subjective separate. When I say I don't like a movie or I just kind of shut my brain off, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I just clear, I just could not inter it, like connect with it for some reason. I don't know why. What is this? It's um it's it's Sarah Brand's new fucking music video that I was curious about and I'm already regretting. That's what we're watching right now. She she really needs that Skynet level attention. Yeah. On the surface, I'm not lost. No one knows the cost. Whoa, whoa. On the surface, no one thing she still has consistent. I can't understand what the fuck the lyrics are. What are the lyrics? Did she put them in her in her? Oh, she did. To a love that made me strive, but buried my soul alive. What the fuck? On the surface, I'm not lost. No one knows the cost. Uh-oh. On the surface, there's no pain. Just like pop star for- What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so I'll do it like Britney. Till you see past the surface. What the fuck is this? What am I reading? I feel like I'm reading a fucking teenage diary right now. This is painful. What the fuck are you doing with the audio right now? Why does it sound like you're screaming in a microphone? No, what it sounds like what she's doing is that, like, she's, like, not yelling in a microphone, but she's really close to it. But she has the, um, the bass all the way up. The vocals are far too quiet. The, the beat muffles them. Yeah, this is just, I don't know, uncanny. Is that a way to put it? The reason why is because she dubbed over the original recording, which I don't know why she did that. Um, she's making an Italian Western in this case. I didn't understand a single word. Yeah, I didn't either. Do you like Sydney Sweeney? Who the fuck is Sydney Sweeney? Sydney Sweeney. Let's see who that is. Um. She's okay. She's she's okay. Um eh, not my type. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. This picture, she looks nice. 
I'll give her that. She looks nice in that picture, but that's like a fucking stage photo. Of course, she's supposed to look really cute in that picture. She looks fine. Her eyes are kind of weird to me, but she's fine. She, If I had to put a number on her, I'd say she's like a... I don't know, like a six or a seven. She's not bad. What about Clint, Kate Blanchett? That sounds familiar. Kate Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. Who? Who is Kate Blanchett? She sounds very familiar. Kate Blanchett. She was in. Wasn't she in Resident Evil? Oh my, she's a bit too old for me, Nate. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she was in Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, yeah. She's a bit too old for me. But, um... You know? That's that's your... <laughs> that's your style, then okay. Could you make a video on this song? Uh, If I could, I don't know. I don't think there's enough content for me to make a video on it yet. Honestly. Um... There's not much that I could see that I could, like, make a response to. This part's aggravating, though. This part's really annoying. Slut. This is actually painful. This isn't even as funny as Red Dress. This is just painful. I got Old Boy for Christmas. That ending. Dude, Old Boy is a great movie. She was older looking in Lord of the Rings. Elect Red Dress, Electric Boogaloo. I mean, Red Dress. That, that, that video, music video was fucking hilariously bad this is just painful so i do it like brit until you see past the surface and what is what are these lyrics do it like britney until you pass the what what does that even mean <laughs> what She's trying to be like fucking Kurt Cobain where he did fucking rhymes in his lyrics and does poems. Well, I mean, I guess songs are poems, but the way fucking Kurt Cobain did it was more methodical. This is just like random shit that rhymes. This is awful. Why did it get louder all of a sudden? Because I heard that you guys couldn't even hear it, so I, I, I boosted the audio. Is it too loud for you guys now? If it's too loud, let me know. Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman is really cute. Especially, like, in the early 2000s. She was very cute. I would give you that. It's so loud. I'm sorry. Here, let me lower it. I'm sorry. Is that better for you guys? Is it lower, or do I need to lower it more? Let me know. This is, this is, what is this tempo? I don't even know what the fuck the tempo is right now. Oh my god, he's a stalker. Yo, she took my advice. I just noticed that. Wait a minute, did you guys notice that? She took my advice. If you guys remembered in my video on her. Talking about her music video when she did the, the weird scene where she went from the red dress to the white dress. And it was a really abrupt cut. She she took my advice. She learned to match up the cuts. Look. Okay, not exactly. But she she's learning. The fuck is this song? I don't fucking know, man.
Yeah, see, she took my advice. Good for you, Sarah. You you took my 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 constructive criticism. Good for you, Sarah. You're still off chorus, but it's okay. Sarah so Brand is an avid watcher of your channel. It seems like it. This is an acid trip. If this is acid, then I never want to touch acid again in my life. Holy fuck. She's like a 3 out of 10. Yeah, she's... Yeah. Okay, that was bad. It's not your fault. Directed by her. She directed this? Oh my. Oh, Sarah, you you got some work to do. Oh, you guys want to see the the behind the scenes of the music video or should we go back to Gen Hope? What are you guys thinking? Is this a dare program? No, this is Sarah Brand, man. What are you talking about? What are you guys thinking? More Gen Hope or watch the behind the scenes? Why is there pop music and metal music mixed? I don't fucking know. Stop. Oh, I never touch a Wii again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did I walk in on? We were, we were originally watching Gen Hope, but then someone brought this to my attention that Sarah made new music videos. And I was kind of curious, and now I want to die. Behind the scenes, Gen Hope, Gen Hope, Gen Hope. This is worse than Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> Gen Hope, I'm blowing my brains out. Okay, it seems like most people want to go back to Gen Hope. All right, we'll do Gen Hope then. Is there a portal of that? Please don't touch that. It's all we got. Please, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> oh, shit. There goes her sun kissed. Look, you homeless piece of crap. Why don't you just get a job? She still got a point. Why are you doing this? You Why are you so doing cool. this to me? This will teach you to get a real job. Start bumming off the people. Now get out. Or we're calling the police and getting you both arrested. You got it? We <laughs> I never should have smoked that gas station weed. Yeah, that's what happens, man. You wanted to get the good shit. I don't want scum like you stinking up our streets. But our tent is right over there, and it'll take us hours. She looks like down. Jeff from Better Call Saul. Nice. It's a good question. Fine. She does look like Jeff. I'm such a nice person. I know that the both of y'all stay in those tents. But just so y'all know, if we come out of that club... <laughs> Why is he sweating so much? Because he took advice from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Just drop fucking baby oil all over yourself. Both arrested, you got it? Such a good guy. I know, right? Such a good guy. That's funny. Okay, it's time to get some rest now, okay, baby? Okay. I'm hungry. No one gives a shit. I know. Fucking start. I'm sorry we couldn't get any donuts. Donuts was not gonna help. Okay. Why were those mean men so mean? Something about that sentence doesn't make sense to me. Sometimes other people don't like us. But we're nice. Did you end up watching Better Call Saul? Yeah, I've seen Better Call Saul. Okay. You're right. We are nice. Not really. But no. other people don't know that. They see our old clothes and they think that we're bad just because we're poor. Not bad, but I mean, you are poor. Mommy, why are we poor? That's a great question. Let's see what your mother says. Because your daddy got very sick. That's not okay. And when he was taken away to heaven, I couldn't afford our bills. That's when you get a job, obviously. He was a good man, and he loved you very much. <laughs> that was a gay bar. They excited them. Uh, 
last time I asked about you, you got into season one, didn't finish it. Yeah, I decided to finish it and get through it. It's like, yeah, you know, it was a decent show. And are absolutely mean. Evil is similar to mean, so it sounds weird. Ah. Okay, fucking kiss ass. I love you, Chris. What's your mother like on Christmas? How's my mother like on Christmas? She was alright. You know, she was she was pretty good on Christmas. You know. <laughs> she looks like that back that actor from Batwoman. Sort of. I can see it. Oh shit! Man, these guys really like to hang out behind the dumpster for some reason. What's up with that? Yo, he's drinking Modellos. Hell yeah. Modellos are great. Okay, if you're throwing up on Modellos, there's something wrong with you. Modellos aren't that fucking strong, dude. Come on. I told you not to drink so much. I know. I know. I know. Oh. Okay. Is it that bad? <laughs> this is good. No, no, no. Hey. Hey. What? What are you doing? I'm nothing. I'm just getting pants. No? Let's steal his wheelchair because he's too drunk to walk. No, guys, I need this. This he oh, should no. just to ring Stop. the bell. Stop it, please. <laughs> Bunch, yeah. What is a Modelo? It's a beer. It's Mexican beer. Mexicano beer. Yeah. Even if you guys aren't into, like, alcohol, um, try Modelo's. Modelo's are, like, the best beer. This shit fucking slaps. Like, buy a bottle of Modelo's, um, put some salt in it, put some lime in it, and you're going to fucking fall in love with Modelo's. They are single-handedly the best beer. No one can defute that. Modelo's are fucking great. And that's what he's drinking. He's drinking a Modelo. Can we just stay quiet, okay? He should just stand up for himself, yeah. I love Mexicans. They are nice to me. You know, Mexicans make the best shit. They make the best drugs. They make the best food. They make the best alcoholic drinks. Those three, on top of that, they have the best personalities. Fight me on that. Salt? Yeah, you put salt in Modelo's. They're fucking great. You might be thinking that's weird, but yeah, put salt in Modelo's. They're really good. Now here, Britain speak Mexican. Hey, I'm I'm one fourth Britain, British, and I'm like fifty percent Mexican, so that counts to something. They have the best crime. Yeah, exactly. When I turn twenty one in seven years, I'll try it. Hell yeah, man. I'll also, make the best women. That's true. Spanish women are. Top tier. That's very true. They can jump really high too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They they they're really good jumpers. Hey, leave him. They're the best characters in cartel shows. Hey, true. I, I, I thought I told you to go away. Get out of here. What do you, what do you, is that a fucking, um, oh, the name, the name blinked on me. It's the plastic pipes they use for, uh, for water. What are they called? She, that's what she's using as a weapon. I can't think of the name of them right now. It's like a plastic pipe for water. What are they called? I guess it's just a pipe for water. I don't know. I remember. 
But why would you use that for a weapon? That's not going to really help you much, but okay. Do you like Spanish people from Spain? I never ran into anyone from Spain, so. Why didn't she use that earlier? That's a great question. I'm not going to ask you again. Get out of here. PVC pipe. Thank you. I knew someone knew what I was talking about. Yeah, PVC pipe. Yeah. I don't recommend beer on Christmas, that's for sure. But the problem is too many people aren't strong or powerful enough to avoid temptation. Beer on Christmas. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, I I wouldn't prefer beer on Christmas. I would prefer more hard alcohol. Beer is more like a casual hanging out type of thing, you know. I got Dark Souls Trilogy for Christmas and Evil West. I'm happy. Oh, nice. What did y'all get? I got a stand-up desk, and I'm really happy with that. I love my stand-up desk. This shit's cool. I would show a picture of it, but you guys will make fun of me for the lighting I have. So, <laughs> How long are you streaming? Um, I don't know. Until I feel like not streaming anymore. Do you like New England? I do. I technically had beer on Christmas. Oh. I got a record player. Nice. Here. Out of here now. It was cooked in with chicken. Oh, you had beer battered chicken. Okay. I got money. That's the best Christmas gift. I got a desk for Christmas too. Hell yeah. Is it a stand up one like mine? Because this desk is really nice. I love my new desk. It's so nice. I love it. Is it one of the uh, is it one of the uplift desks? Yeah, it's an automatic ad uh, adjusting desk. So like on the side of my desk, I press this button. Like if I press three, I, it will stand up for me. Which right now I have it in sit up, sit down mode because I I I'm curled up in a blanket and stuff. So did you know that Doom Slayer is in Fortnite? Oh hell yeah, man! Was a was a punch to the back of my head. Oh, nice. Those guys, they just came out of the club and started... You can have it ask my mommy for the visa? Hell yeah, man. And I got Elder Ring for Christmas, Legos, and hundreds of dollars. Fuck yeah, man. Is Bloodborne fun? Yes. But, um, you have to deal with 30 frames. Have you watched The Whale? No, but I'm planning on it. You live? you live in a fucking tent? You fucking piece yeah, of shit. Much, it's, it's hope. It's not what? You guys are so vulnerable, yet you risk your life to save mine. Yeah, because she's stupid. If we all helped one another, the world would be a better place. That's very true, but sadly, not many feel that way. I really appreciate your selflessness today, and I'd like to give you something to say thank you. Oh, is he going to give him a million dollars? You can stand? Yes. Oh, God. Yes, I can. Why were you in a fucking wheelchair then? Oh, I'm sorry I tricked you. I'm not really homeless. So you're not poor? No, I'm actually a billionaire. Oh, of course. Who do you think are the biggest Griffin pay pigs in this year? I don't know. I don't really pay attention to that. I mean, I can guarantee you I've given at least like 150 bucks to Griffin this year. It's just like I'm fine with. 150 bucks is like something I can make in an hour, so. Why were you dressed like that? My name is Jeff Bezos. Why was he wearing a fucking suit underneath? Oh, uh, never mind. Would treat me. You see, when I became rich, I noticed that people started to treat me differently. And I wanted to see how people would act if they thought I had nothing. I hate to do this, but can you guys excuse me for a minute? I need to go squeeze the lemon. Just give me like, I don't know, 30 seconds.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right. Let me uh also grab myself a Modelo because that actually kind of sounded nice after I saw that guy having one. So there we go. All right. Okay, here we go. Used to donate so much money to Griffin to watch that cringe <laughs> Dike Otaku channel. Yeah, I remember that. Seems crazy. <laughs> that is kind of crazy. Have I seen everything everywhere all at once? Of course I have. The movie's fucking great. But when you're surrounded by people who only care about you for how much money you have, I start to lose hope in humanity. But seeing what you did for me restored my hope. And I'd like to say thank you by giving you this. A check for one million dollars? <laughs> Yep. Who's the hottest celebrity? Uh, who's the hottest celebrity? Um. Well, for sure, it's going to be Jennifer Conley from the 90s. Uh, now, if we're going to talk like modern celebrity. Shit, I don't know. Who's a modern celebrity that's really pretty? Maybe... Because I have a weird taste in women. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have a very weird taste and very specific taste. So an example of a of an actress that's really pretty to me would be like... um, uh, What's her name? What's, what's her name? What's her fucking name? What's the name of the chick? Uh... What's her name? What's her name? Anya Taylor Joy is another example. I would consider her kind of cute, depending on the role and how she's wearing. Like this, this ain't that cute, but something like something like that, she's kind of cute. In. Um, I'm trying to think of another modern actress that's pretty. Um, you know who I find real cute? This one people will find crazy. Aubrey Plaza. I think Aubrey Plaza is pretty hot. <laughs> I don't care what people say. She's really cute. She's also really interesting. But there you go. That's 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 who I think are pretty celebrities. There you go. Kate Blanchett is the hottest celebrity. Kate Blanchett is okay. She's alright. He already had a check written out for them. Yeah. She looks bug eyed. Yeah, I know, yeah. People, yeah. She she does look like... She has a resting bitch face. And I don't know. I like that. <laughs> I like the resting bitch face, bitch face with the bug eyes. I don't know why. Just, it, like I said, I have a weird style. Resting bitch face with bug eyes. That's like... I find that kind of... Kind of, uh, kind of cool. I don't know why. She's kind of hot. Yeah, like I said, I have a weird style of what I consider pretty. So... Who's to check who plays Wonder Woman? Oh, um, uh, I forgot her name, but I know who you're talking about. She's kind of cute. Is it just some kind of a joke? Yeah, no. You like the chick who plays Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson? Scarlett Johansson's pretty, yeah. Gal Gadot, Haley Steinfeld, and Anya Taylor Joy. Only one I agree with there is Anya Taylor Joy. I think Anya Taylor Joy is real cute. Go, Flora. I've been out here for days. I've suffered all kinds of abuse and hatred. You were the first people to show me kindness. Mommy, what is it? <laughs> it's money, honey. Does that mean we get our donuts now? Yes, but... I don't think we can take this. This is too much. It's okay, Mary. You deserve that money. Not really. She doesn't. She had... She did nothing to deserve that money. So this is real. I can't believe Can I hug them. you? Yes. Oh, you're more than welcome. And you are too. I'm gonna be honest with you. This was kind of like a mediocre Gen Hope video. I I want something that's that's gonna blow my socks off. Like, what's Samir been up to? How do you spell his name? S A M E E E R. Samir. There he goes. 
His name's fucking weird. Let's make a TikTok. <clears throat> What's Samir made? Mother-in-law tells her son to abuse wife. Oh, oh, oh what? <laughs> I don't think, what? What's totally studios been up to? Oh my god, I can't spell today. Holy fuck. Pregnant kicked out of Walmart. That doesn't even make sense, but okay. Ah, totally Studios and Samir don't have anything going on. Watch Totally Studios. Well, I just looked them up. They don't really have anything going on for them right now. Did he already write the check before the situation? Apparently, yeah. What do you guys want to watch? Give me some suggestions. Give me some suggestions that would be good for a response video that I can make. That you guys would be entertained by. How about that? Give me give me something that will be really good for a response video. Like, fuck, who was the guy I made a response to with Dark Souls? What was his name? Avid Alchemist, right? Yeah, that was his name. What's Avid Alchemist been up to? Out of curiosity. Jedi Survivor, new gameplay editions. Okay. Armor Core fires a fires a Rubicon from software going backwards in their catalog is a good thing. Okay. EA motive ruins Isaac Clark's face. Okay. <laughs> um why I won't be watching the 2022 Game Awards. I mean, obviously, yeah. Okay, so Avid Alchemist hasn't been doing anything too crazy lately. Brony Cringe? Oh, God. Fallout 3 is the perfect RPG. Since you asked me that earlier, we'll, we'll give that a watch. We'll give this... We'll give this a watch as far as I can go. You're okay. right. And then Turf Nation. Here, I'll I'll put I'll load that up right now. How about that? Turf Nation. Well, check out what he has next. How about that? Who else has some ideas? Cringe compilations? Fuck no. The Anime Man. The fuck is the Anime Man? I've never heard of that. I became a real Japanese teacher for a day. Oh god, that seems painful. Live stream Avatar 2? Fuck yeah, man. Watching Fugitive Red Eye, and welcome to another game review. It's been a minute since I've done a game review, but I figured I would do one here. And I know I'm supposed to be doing a Splatterhouse 2 review that is coming soon. Let me know if the audio is good, because this guy's audio is really quiet. Soon as well. But as you guys have probably noticed on the channel, I have been fairly obsessed with. Hey, Potato, I sent you a video on Discord. Did you? Fallout New Vegas first impressions. This could have been a great. Oh, what's this? I'll 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 load that up too. How about that? It is. I'll, I'll put that on the side too. Wow, you guys really want me to make videos on like fucking Fallout, don't you? That's interesting. Okay, well let, let, let's go through these and see what they are. Audio is Fallout fine. Lately. Now, I've always been an Elder Scrolls. Watch Mr. Anime is planning something. Okay, let me, let me load that up here. Anime is planning something. This is it? This is what you want me to watch? Wait a minute. I know this guy. Mr. Anime, didn't this guy, like, murder people or some shit? <laughs> I don't really know the story, but I remember, like, something about this. I remember the face. This guy, like, murdered people or something, right? I think. I don't remember. This guy, I've always been a big fan of the Elder Scrolls series. Boring? Let's watch something? Well, we'll give it some time. Here. We're gonna put a rule, okay? This is gonna be the rule. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go... 
two minutes in every video, okay? If we don't find something captivating in those two minutes, we skip to the next recommendation. So that's why we're not just watching garbage all the time. How about that? Is that is it? Does everyone sound good with that? Everyone good with that? And would constantly argue with Corb. He was an anime fan who killed his family members. It was crazy. Really? Fuck, man. Been over whether or not Elder Scrolls or Fallout was better. I was always on the camp of Elder Scrolls. I played Fallout 3 years and years ago when it came when out. My on the game, when my game turned into a series, The Last of Us came out. Will you review it? Of course, Jim Ryan. Of course I'll, I'll review it. A 360. Actually, that might be something interesting to review. The fucking Last of Us TV series. I was thinking about that. The problem is, right? Because people on the internet are fucking stupid. If you haven't played The Last of Us and you criticize The Last of Us TV show, for example, people will be like, oh, you didn't play The Last of Us. So you, can, you, you have no fucking rights to talk about it. I can guarantee you those comments are going to exist and I'm going to shut them off ex immediately. Because, like, fuck you. I don't have to play a game to, to know a story of shit. But, you know. And I made it fairly far in the game back then, but I never really got immersed into it. Like, I, I didn't get immersed into it. I got to Vault 112. I know I got at least that far. I can't remember if I did anything else after that. But I know I didn't make it much farther in my original playthrough when I was younger. Look up the Ronnie M M McNutt's story. It's very depressing. Well, we're not trying to watch something depressing. We're trying to have a good time here. It's Christmas. We don't have to have a dog shit time. We want to, have to watch something that's dog shit. I used to always say that I really liked the parts in the vault, but got bored after that. That is no longer the case, as you can probably tell from the title. Review the National Treasure Show? That might be something to watch. Middle of this yeah. video, Corbin was right, and once I got the hang of the game, I absolutely... Have you heard EDP is dying of kidney failure? That's hilarious. Absolutely loved it. So part of the problem I was running into with Fallout 3 before was I was bad at it. I wasn't used to the gunplay, and I was ill-prepared. You have to make sure that you are constantly well-stocked on ammo and healing items, something I was pretty terrible at, especially early on. I also tried to use melee weapons a lot, which can be done well, but when you have a lot of enemies around you, it's not practical. So eventually, though, when I got the hang of it, I love this game. I think that it has... Oh, God. Here, I'll throw you a vid recommendation. The idiotic crimes of 4 tram dumbest degenerates. Okay, here, I'll, I'll copy and put in a tab. Just for you. How long is that? 32 minutes? See, this is the problem. I don't mind long videos. I want to make this very clear before I say this. I don't mind watching long videos. Especially if they're like 4 hours long. Like, I was watching a Luke Stevens video... That was like fucking four hours long, and I didn't mind. The problem is, when you're watching very long videos on stream, it's a very different atmosphere. So, like, I try to keep it at a limit. When it's when there's a video that's like at least 20 minutes long, it, it depends on what it is. Uh, idiotic crimes of dumbest 4chan degenerates. I'll do you a favor. In 4chan's nearly... I'll, I'll put this up. But we'll watch, like, the first two minutes and see if it's even worth going through. Because I, 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 I like to keep people's recommendations and keep them on tabs and see if we want to watch them or not, you know? I don't want to be a dick and just, like, completely avoid your recommendation. Because I, I feel like that's a dick move. So we'll give it a watch, I promise. It has so much going for it. We should like watch I said, I the way... 4chan crimes video it's like 30 minutes oh, okay. it's the perfect rpg it's got a really unique take in that it's a first person shooter rpg hybrid i think it's really atmospheric the world is super cool and immersive and a big thing for me is your choices dude what the fuck is this that's how is it? what is this fov what the fuck is it are really good i find it interesting that a lot of did you guys hear that he did an editing audio editing error. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but listen listen to his audio for a minute, right? Choices in it are really good. I find it interesting. You hear that? It was like he was about to say like, but then he cut himself off before he said look. 
That's really strange. Why did he do that? That's a very strange editing choice. It was like he was about to make an example, but then he cut it off. Maybe it was a bad example, I don't know. That's a very weird editing choice. <laughs> if you're going to cut off yourself saying something, at least try to make it sound fluent. I don't know. Interesting that a lot of New Vegas fans try to say that Fallout 3 has no choices. But I feel like the choices... Am Can you watch a entire EFAP stream? Dude, I'd rather fucking swallow a fucking cyanide pill than watch that shit. EDP, be like, kid. <laughs> we should watch... Oh, I already read that. Imagine being hyped for seeing celebrities and then all of a sudden the celebrity ends up being disappointing. Oh, like cyberpunk? Fallout 3 have been much more memorable. Now, granted, I haven't beat New Vegas yet, but I've... There was a cutoff? Yeah, it played was really it for strange. quite a few hours. In fact, I played it for nearly 15 hours. And all of my time in Fallout 3, I came across choices that were much more memorable. Like, for instance, I don't think there is a single RP... Wait, what do you say here? At the time of editing, I've put around 40 hours into New Vegas and around 80 into Fallout 3, okay? Oh, we're at the two-minute mark. So, how are we feeling about this video? Yay or nay? All right. Should we continue this video? Or should we drop it and go to the next recommendation? What are you guys feeling? Say yay or nay, you know? Let me know. And I'll, I guess I'll keep playing it until I get answers. It, it is good for putting me to sleep. Podcast streams are so boring to me, but it's good. Yeah, yeah. For instance, I don't think there is a single RPG that you can be anywhere near. Big ups, potato? Oh, thank you. Click off, nay. What's the video even about? It's about Fallout 3. Click off, nay, 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 nay. All right, all right. The people have spoken. All right, nay, it is. Why do people hate Brie Larson? Oh, God. Why do people hate Brie Larson? All right, so this person recommended a channel. So we're going to go through his channel, and we're going to find a video that we find interesting, and maybe watch it from there. So let's see here. Why people hate Phase 4 of the MCU. Is the MCU real? I mean, you know what? That one on the, on the, off the bat sounds interesting. Phase 4 of the MCU. We'll watch this. Nay, nay, nay. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> See, that's that's how you should do streams, honestly. Not that I'm a good streamer myself, but I always feel like you should always ask Chad if we should keep going forward on a video that's interesting or not. Since you know, most people say nay, we'll move on to this video. So, same rule, two minutes in, and we'll we'll decide if we want to keep continuing or not, all right? Watch the Last Jedi one. Um, I'll load it up on another tab. How about that? Because I'm kind of curious about this one, too. To you has been a controversial topic of debate ever since it started. Is the MCU failing uh -huh. to capture the same magic that it once had? Or is it setting itself up for more magic and wonder? Well, Dude, what the fuck is this resolution? Is it even at 1080p? Oh my god, that's the actual video. Okay, alright. Now that Phase 4 is done, I think we can begin to answer some of these questions. So, before Phase 5 begins, let's discuss some of the reasons why a lot of people- Dude, can you not get higher quality fucking- <laughs> oh. Okay. People don't like the MCU anymore, and try to engage with some of these arguments. Let's get okay. right into it. Now, I think the most pressing matter to talk about when it comes to Phase 4 is MC- no, I think the MCU has been hot garbage during Phase 4. But ones that say the MC this is MCU is cringe lords. Yeah, I'm just I'm just not into the whole MCU thing, you know? Like I I would fully admit Phase 4 is garbage. But I wouldn't go around saying, Oh, it's fucking woke propaganda, you fucks. And it's like who <laughs> fucking cares at this point, man? I don't know. See you fatigue after the Infinity Saga finished, which had been going on for over a decade. I and if you watched my Halo TV response video to that Geeks and Gamers guy, you would understand my stance on this shit. 
But it seems like a lot of people watched that video thinking I was defending that show, which is funny to think about. I don't know why that popped in my head. Maybe because I'm I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> I just thought about that. It kind of connects in some way, but you know. You haven't done a breakdown of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? Of what? Like what? The trailer? Um. Eh. I don't know. Uh, Maybe with the actual movie? Depending on how it goes. Because I like James Gunn. He's a, actually a really interesting writer and director. But it depends how the movie comes out. Marvel movies are so boring. The only Marvel characters I care about are Deadpool and Spider-Man. See, I don't even care about them. The only one I found really cool was Iron Man. And that was in the first movie. I thought fucking Iron Man in the first movie was badass. <laughs> and then after that, I just stopped caring. I agree, Phase 4 sucks, but it's not because of the MCU. Yeah, it's just like, it's not me. Not on abortion? I don't know why I'm asking, I'm just kind of bored. You're asking me about what I think of abortion? What? <laughs> That's a very weird, wild ant question to ask. Hey, what do you think of abortion, streamer? You know what? I think abortion is something. There you go. Yeah, Phase 4 is garbage, but it's not because of wokeness, it's because of bad writing and messy plots. Yeah, you know? It's just like, I bet these same people that say that, like, the far Marvel Phase 4 is woke. Those are the same people that fucking love everything, everywhere, all at once. And you know what everything, everywhere, all at once plot uh, evolves around? A mother getting over her daughter being a lesbian. And those people would praise that movie. But they wouldn't call that woke. So it's like a very mixed and contradictive fucking standards when it comes to that shit. And I just don't pay attention to it. It's like whatever. If a movie's bad, it's bad. It's not because of that shit, you know? That's how I see it. Did you watch any of the Marvel shows? I watched them all to completion. And they were all bad. I think it's fair that some people are getting tired of Marvel content. At least Marvel content that's part of this interconnected web of the MCU. We're now okay. closing in on 15 years since Iron Man came out, and perhaps- People always say it was Iron Man that started off, it was actually Incredible Hulk, which I find funny. Thoughts on Drake? Like, Drake Bell? Drake and Josh? That type of Drake? I don't- Who's Drake? Some of the magic of the MCU <laughs> I don't know who has about. been lost. I mean, I'm not personally getting as excited for It's a black woman's woke. Yeah, that's synthetic, man. See, that's the thing. I will I will give Synthetic Man some credit on his God of War Ragnarok review, okay? When he was talking about the gameplay, it sounded like he knew what he was getting at there, right? But then when he got to the story, I stopped paying attention and he started bringing up the woke shit. It was like eh. <laughs> I kind of just like blanked out even though synthetic man thinks I hate him which I don't which is hilarious to think about I don't hate the guy it's just that some of his takes are fucking weird so for MCU projects anymore as I used to but maybe that's also because they're in the rebuilding phase and once the next Avengers movie comes out who knows maybe that MCU rush will come right back to me however I think it's okay to acknowledge that the MCU Damn this fucking video. To you has been going on for a long time, and some people are naturally going to grow tired of it, or simply move on to different things. Although Phase 4 has done some things differently, such as incorporating TV shows and leaning into the multiverse, there are still parts that feel very much the same as always. The MCU formula is still present. There's also the factor of there having been released a lot of content in the past couple of years. I mean, seriously, we've been bumped. What does that matter? Who cares if they released a lot of fucking content? I mean, look at Quentin Tarantino. That dude releases a, a movie like every four fucking years. And they're bangers every time. You don't have to release like a new TV show or movie every fucking year. You could you could take a break, you know. That is a thing. Why is he... What? Is he saying that's a praise of the fucking MCU? Like they keep releasing shit? I don't know. That's weird. Shang, Shang Chi was mid, yeah. The only Drake songs I like are the ones he makes with Twenty One Savage. Dude, you're speaking fucking German to me. I don't. Who the fuck is Drake? And who the fuck is Twenty One Savage? 
<laughs> now they're sounding like they're musicians. I, but yet again, I don't know. I mentally checked out after Endgame. I did too. Barded with superheroes and other John than the Walker possibility of fan. MCU fatigue, it has also led to Marvel cutting corners. Bad CGI was something we began noticing more towards the end of the Infinity Saga. Did you know Drake Bell got and Josh Peck got arrested a few years ago? Josh, really? Josh got arrested? I don't remember that. But it has just boiled to the surface in Phase 4, affecting a lot of projects. Now, I'm not a person who requires perfect visual effects all the time. I'd much rather them focus first and foremost on the story and the characters. If you care more about the story and characters, then how come you like Phase 4? However, this decline in CGI does allude to a... Does this man not know who Drake is? I know Drake Bell. <laughs> I know that Drake. From Drake and Josh. They're rappers? Okay, that's why I don't know them. I don't keep up with rappers. The only rapper I know is Kanye West because of his recent recent controversy. And that's the only rapper I genuinely know. Okay, I'm being honest with you. <laughs> also, we're at two minutes on this video. Yay or nay? What are you guys feeling? Yay or nay on this video so far? Disney nominated Thor Love and Thunder for the Oscars. That's... I'm not surprised. That's that's fucking Disney for you. So far, I'm not really connecting with this video, but I'm going with whatever you guys feel like. Do you like Pink Floyd? Of course I like Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd is fucking great. Yay, yeah, yay. Keep going with this video? Okay, all right, we'll keep going with it then greater trend of Marvel cutting corners, and that perhaps releasing as much content as they're releasing at such a high rate is potentially holding back the quality of these properties. I'm surprised you don't know who Drake is. He's a very popular person. Yeah, man, I... I try to tell people, I, I'm someone that... Think of me as, like, someone that's stuck in the 80s. Not stuck in the 80s, but I know people from the 80s. But when it comes to modern times, I'm fucking lost. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking just completely lost. I don't know any new musicians from this era at all. The only one, the only modern musicians I know is, um, they're not really modern anymore, though, are they? I was going to say System of the Down, but they're like early 2000s. So, like, even from then, I don't, I don't know. I just don't really connect with a lot of modern music. It's just not for me. With MCU fatigue kicking in for many fans, I think they could hit. It's not just a CGI that declined, yeah. Hit two birds with one stone by dialing back the release. I'm snoring. I say I'm saying nay. I'm sorry, man. We're watching this crap. <laughs> this is just a tad bit. Give more time for people to get excited about a new project while also giving the creators more time to flesh out these projects and make sure they're of the highest possible quality. Maybe. That's a fucking lie. Maybe that would help, or maybe it wouldn't. But there's also the issue of there being very little scale in Phase 4. We haven't had any big team-ups yet, except for No Way Home, which felt more like its own- Bitch, it's not about team-ups, it's just being about a good movie. What the fuck? You don't need team-ups to make a good movie. Look at the original Iron Man. Iron Man didn't have any team-ups, it was just literally fucking Iron Man. That movie was a banger. And Shang Chi, every everything post Endgame has been mediocre, bland, and absolute garbage. I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't even think No Way Home and Shang Chi was that good. I I there's so many flaws in the writing of those films. It's just like I don't know, man. <laughs> the only thing that kept me interested in No Way Home was fucking uh Toby Maguire, because Toby Toby is a Chad separate thing, but it feels like things are being set up for phases 5 and 6 to then deliver some hopefully sweet payoff. In my opinion, this is fine. They're building up new characters, they're setting up the status quo and a greater conflict, so I'm okay with them taking- Fun fact, I didn't realize Hypnotized by Sipping the Down was released on my birthday. Hey, I didn't know Temple of Doom was released on my birthday. That was fucking cool to find out. When I was making my Indiana Jones video, when I figured that out, I was like, oh shit, man. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I had the same birthday on the release date of uh, fucking Temple of Doom. I'll take that. It was only successful because of nostalgia. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's true. No Way Home's plot was pretty bad. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad. There was one guy. If you guys want to watch a really good No Way Home video, there is this video from uh fuck, what was his name? It was a really good No Way Home video. Who was it? I'm trying to think of his name right now. Spider-Man No Way Home. Maybe I'll find it this way. There was someone that made like a fucking great No Way Home video. And I'm trying to remember their name. Um, and like they went over the plot problems and everything. And I was like, yeah, that, yeah. The film has a lot of writing issues. What was his name? He's not showing up on here, and that makes me sad, because he made, like, one of the best reviews on the game, or in movie. He's not here. Shit, I don't remember his name. Now I feel bad. <laughs> it's now been five- Because he made a really good No Way Home video, and I can't remember his name. My B-Day is May 19th. How about y'all? Mine is January 21st. That's my birthday. When was Temple of Doom released? January 21st. <laughs> As for She-Hulk, I only watched a few episodes. I cringed myself to death. I watched the entirety of She-Hulk. And, yeah. SK? I'm pretty sure it's SK. No, it wasn't, it wasn't him. I don't remember the guy's name. I really don't remember his name, but he made a really good review of No Way Home. It wasn't SK. I don't remember that. It it had, like, the, the profile picture I'm thinking of, the guy had, like, a... had, like, a red demon face and a white background as his profile picture. I don't remember his name, and I feel bad for not remembering it, because he had a really good video. Madvocate! There you go, Madvocate. That's the guy I was thinking of, Madvocate. Yeah, he made a really good No Way Home video. Time, but I can see how the general audience is losing interest when they mainly care about the Dark big Souls events. Games. And I know what order should I play them in? I mean, you've got all three of them, play them in order, you know? That Marvel doesn't want to lose the general audience, they can't survive on just the hardcore fans. However, that was one aspect of the debate surrounding Phase 4's success, and I think it's now relevant to address the MCU argument. It's Yo, Nerd Rotic? Hell yeah, man. Fuck yeah, I haven't watched- I watched one video from this man, and I just thought to myself, dude, you got a wall of virginity. You got a massive issue going on. <laughs> Madvocate, yeah, that's the guy I was thinking of. How bad is it? Is She Hulk? Uh, it's a cinematic masterpiece. It's one of the best movies or shows I've ever seen in my entire life. There you go. Essentially, some people attribute the supposed failures of Phase 4 on it being woke. Now, this argument started during the Infinity Saga with movies like Black Panther and Captain Marvel, but it has really boiled to the top during Phase 4, and the main aspect of these identity politics that they focus on is women in the MCU. The term M. <laughs> I fucking can't with this is brought to popularity by Nerd Roddick but it has since been taken much further. And listen, if your reason for calling it the MCU is- He's one of the, my favorites, EFAP guest. He was on EFAP? Oh, I didn't even know. I just stumbled across one of his videos, and I was like, man, this is a really good video, man. You did good here. I like it. Good video. But I didn't know he was on EFAP. That kind of explains a lot now thinking about it, but- It is solely based on the fact that there are now slightly more female characters and especially female leads in the MCU, and that Kevin Feige even stated that they'd be trying to include more women in the MCU, then fine, because that's true. I wish Perhaps MCU we can shows agree that this is more a good thing. Episodes than six? It's not the amount of episodes they have. It's, it's the content in the episodes is the issue I have with them. Like, you can make a six-episode show. Sure, go fu fucking go for it. <clears throat> but make it... Make it interesting. Right? That's that's what I care about. Including more diverse... I got a thing for skinny buff chicks, so I don't mind. <laughs> you know what, Kevin? You You go, man. I'm with you. In the I'm not with you at all, actually, but 
I, you go for it. That's all you right there. The previously very male dominated industry can in my mind. She-Hulk was so bad it ruined Daredevil that, you know, I didn't watch a lot of Daredevil, but from the little I saw from She-Hulk, I can tell what, why people have that interpretation. Only be seen as a win. However, I don't think the people who use the phrase MCU agrees with me. That would be a very naive thing to believe because the people who call the MCU, the MCU, don't like the- Yo, Anomaly, look, it's my friend. Oh, the MCU, oh. You know what's sad? I edited this video. I remember this. I edited this one. <laughs> it's so strange. That That's the weird part about me. Like, I, I don't really care about people's morals or, like, opinions on things that much. But here I am fucking editing someone's video that's calling MCU and Woke and stuff. It's like, yeah. I don't know. Uh, you know, say what you will about Anomaly, but when when you get in a voice call with that guy and just chill with him for a while, pretty cool guy. It, yet again, I'm just kind of the same way. You watch my videos, and I'm fucking, you know, going all crazy, going, blah, 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 you fucking horror monger, you piece of shit. Go fuck yourself, you know? But... Hey, you know, it, it, that's because it's a video environment when it's in a voice chaw, voice chaw, voice call with people <laughs> or like you're on a stream, you're more yourself, you know. Do you like Brock Hampton? Who the fuck is Brock Hampton? Nerd Roddick's thumbnails are peak 4chan energy. Yeah. That's not what Kevin Feige said. He said there would soon be more female characters than male characters in the MCU. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm sub to EFAPT, and I never understand why I sub to a random channels. Yeah, I see. That's the thing. If you, if I showed you my sub feed, I'm sub to five people. Is that five people? Who am I sub to? Actually, give me a second. I'm sub to Griffin. Only for the cause of that's why I can get notified when he's streaming. I'm notified to the archive channel because that's my archive channel. Red Letter Media, Your Movie Sucks, ER, and Kratos. Those are the only people I'm sub to. Oh shit, I be chiefing? I've been chiefing with the 10 bucks? Holy fuck, man, thanks. I bought myself an original Xbox for Christmas and I went through the save games it has been used since 2005 holy shit that what game should i find for it also merry christmas merry christmas to you chief and thanks for the 10 bucks and what games should you try for the original xbox fuck man i don't even know i'm not the right person to ask for that i don't even i didn't even own an original xbox myself i believe it or not didn't play games until when did Halo Reach come out? 2011? That was my... Yeah, that's when I played games, was when in 2011. So. How do you know who Synthetic Man is, but not Drake? Because Synthetic Man is a fascinating creature, and that's why. The video you edited made it into a Turf Nation video. You're famous. Fuck yeah, man. Wait, the video you edited made it into a Turf Nation video. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'm <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty chill in VCs. Yeah, I'd like to think I'm pretty chill. You know? I do have my limits. Like, I, I have a very short... Not short temper, but I have a, a short... um, Not temp... What am I thinking of? I can't think of the word. God damn, this is why you don't drink too much on streams. I have a sh what, what am I thinking? What's the word? Not temper. But I can't handle like certain niches of mine that annoy me. Like dog shit microphones. That's one that annoys the fuck out of me. I'm sub to Griffin, Fritanga, Alex, Kim Joshun, Mischief. Legacy, Actman, Optimus. Oh, okay. I see. 
I like Kratosis, but I don't understand why he likes Nerdrotic so much. Does he? Oh shit! I've tur I've talked to Kratosis a few times. I don't mind Kratosis. He's a pre he's a pretty chill dude. But if he likes Nerdrotic, that's fine. But I'd be curious why he does. I'd ask him that. If he ever invited me on a stream, that would be my question: is like, why do you like Nerdrotic Kratosis? <laughs> That'd be my first question to him. I should get back to the video because now we've just been pausing and I've just been trying to catch up with chat. You guys are, you guys are messaging too quick for me. I I have a very shit reading comprehension. Stop typing so much, you fucks. Get Battlefront Two for the original Xbox. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Dude, I loved OG Xbox. If you want to play, you should check out Dead or Alive One. And two ultimate and Halo and three Halo, of course. Okay, there you go. You got your your recommendations. I'm guilty of having bad mic at times. Sorry about that. Hey, it's fine. I just I can't handle terrible microphones in a in a voice call. Same with like having a 15 year old in chat that has that really squeaky voice. Hi guys. <laughs> I hate that shit. I can't deal with it. The second I hear a squeaky voice in a voice call, I'm fucking out. <laughs> I do it all the time. I want to, I want to, but I live in a place with mainly white and black people. What are you talking about? I think I'm missing context there. Inclusion of more women. They think there is a feminist agenda to show that women can do anything. Hell yeah, a critical drinker, man. Anything a man can, and that- I don't mind critical drinker, he's okay. That men are useless and bad. Like seriously, this seems like the only thing Chuds like to talk about when a new property releases. Wakanda forever- <laughs> Bro is calling me out? Hey, Kevin. I haven't heard you in a voice call, but if you have a squeaky voice, I'm sorry. Ever had Shuri as the main character. She-Hulk apparently hates all men. Love and Thunder had a female Thor who took the spotlight. Miss Marvel- well, that wasn't the only problem with Thor Love and Thunder, but okay. ...was a Muslim girl who has ties to Captain Marvel. That wasn't the issue with Miss Marvel at all. I don't know if he's defending those, or is he, is he countering those? Because I would say Miss Marvel was bad, not because it was a Muslim girl. That's the least of that it, that the issues of that fucking show. The writing is the issue, but hey, you know, <laughs> whatever. And thus, Brie Larson. Multiverse of Madness had America Chavez in a significant role. Moon Knight had the- That doesn't- Scarlet Scarab saved the male hero. Loki had female Loki who supposedly outdid him in every way. WandaVision of course had Wanda being powerful. Falcon and the Winter- What? I don't- what? Your soldier actually mainly talked about racism, but that angered them as well. And of course, Hawkeye had Kate Bishop take the spotlight from Clint. Essentially, almost every Marvel project in Phase 4 has been subject to these claims of it being- Are you calling me out in VC? Hell yeah, man. I think he's saying that all the people who were saying that the show was bad was because she was Muslim girl. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes more sense. Okay. For the Steam Deck, I'm thinking of buying the $400 one and replacing the SSD in it. It doesn't seem that hard. Yeah, I mean, I did it with mine. That sounded bad, but... I did the same thing with mine. I just, I bought... I didn't buy the $400 version. I bought the medium-priced one. I got that one, and I just replaced the SSD with a terabyte, and it's, like, fucking perfect. ...female dominated and having an agenda. The only times they didn't do this is when they knew that their fans wouldn't be on board with it, such as with No Way Home. Now, do these... Okay. ...claims that the MCU wants to show men as being inferior to women have any backing? Of course not. People love to claim that white men are being oppressed, when white men still make up a large part of the... Is this gonna be the whole fucking video? Like, on, is this going to be the whole fucking video talking about this shit? <laughs> oh. MCU compared to any other social group. I mean, Thor, Peter Parker, Doctor Strange, Bucky Barnes, Clint, the Hulk, and those are just to name a few. And the argument that women are only shown to be better than men, in other words, the bait and switch argument, 
is also just idiotic. Yes, Kate Bishop wins a lot of fights against bigger opponents, however the opening to the show literally shows us a montage of how she became a skilled fighter. Okay, I don't... What does this have to do with the quality of the writing? <laughs> oh my god. I thought this was going to like be a defense of Phase 4, but it's just about anti-woke and woke shit. I don't care. I just don't care. <laughs> Did you like Loki? Fuck no. I think you have to use another computer to reinstall SteamOS. No, you can use... I'm pretty sure you can use the Steam Deck. This vid got me like, yeah. This guy has a series similar to Anomaly called Rise of the Sequels. Does he really? Fucking hell, man. He's got to defend a woman. Yeah. Okay, you know what? We're going to try this again. Yay or nay on this fucking video. Because slowly I'm just losing interest as we go along. Because it's just like woke and anti-woke shit. And it's just like, I don't care. I thought this was going to talk about the quality of the films. Not just woke and anti-woke shit. It's just like, I don't care. I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> like... Hawkeye was bad because of, not because it was woke or anti-woke, it was just bad on his own fucking terms. Okay, you can go to a different video if you want now. Yay, nay, nay. I refuse to vote. Okay, that's fair. I can tell. I can't tell if he is defending MCU or if he is debunking the HRR, DRR, Marvel woke arguments. I think he is. All right, we'll go to a different video. Okay, why people hate The Last Jedi five years later. Um, I'm going to assume there might be more woke and anti-woke shit. So we're going to put a... Can I put a timer? Not a timer. I want to put a counter. How about... Uh, can I put a counter? I'm going to put a counter. Okay, we're going to give this one two more minutes. All right. I'd rather watch the Fallout one. Yeah. Wait, did you have a Fallout video? Oh, you would rather watch... Okay, I know what you mean. Okay, I'm fucking retarded. Alright, we'll give this one two minutes. Let's see how this goes. You guys ready? This might be even more garbage than the last one. It's even longer. That's what she said. So let's see how this goes. I've whole years since The Last Jedi came out, and I think it's safe to say that this movie is a little bit controversial. Some people absolutely love this movie, some people hate it with every fiber of their body, and others have probably moved on by now. However, I think we can all agree that these- Most people moved on by now. I don't think many people give that much of a shit for this movie, but okay. These past five years have been turbulent for Star Wars fans. There okay. has been a war within the fandom. It feels like every new property that Lucasfilm releases reignites this fire, and it always leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Now, I date a big part of this conflict within the Star Wars fandom and just other fandoms in general, back to The Last Jedi, because I think the movie kickstarted a lot of the anger, negativity, and combativeness. Can this guy, like, upload videos that are actually 1080p? And not lower bitrate. That'd be cool. I'd appreciate that. That has characterized a lot of movie discourse these past five years. Essentially, the effects of The Last Jedi go beyond just Star Wars. However, I wanted to take a step back. Most people moved in now. No, except for you, Turf Nation. You, you haven't moved on. I don't know. There's still some people that bring this movie in as an example. Like, the only thing I'll give The Last Jedi, it's a really good, like, it's a really good example for a spectrum of, like, bad movies. And you, you always go can go back to it. Like, how I use Doom Eternal. I'm going to use Doom Eternal here for a moment. You know, I'm going to say this too, side tangent for a moment. People give a lot of shit to Under the Mail for using Doom Eternal for examples. But I'm going to be honest with you, I use Doom Eternal more as an example than he does, but that's besides the point. The thing is here, is that, like, you use certain movies or medium as, as like, a spectrum that you use, right? And I use Doom Eternal as, like, high-quality fucking gameplay right there. 
and some people would use The Last Jedi as, like, really poor writing. Which, yeah, it has really bad writing, but it's not the worst fucking writing. Like, I would say Multiverse of Madness has this beaten by a fucking mile, but... There, there's certain things that you can use as, as a moral compass, I guess you can say. Not a moral compass. A spectrum, I guess. A spectrum line or something. And it's just like, I can see why people use this movie as an example. I think even Synthetic Man used Last Jedi as an example of how God of War Ragnarok was bad. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. You can use it as an example of bad dog shit, right? But you can find way worse shit than this. Geeks and Gamers always brings it up. Yeah, see what I mean? People always bring it up. I consider The Last Jedi worse than The Rise of Skywalker. I don't even think that's a hot take, dude. <laughs> that's a pretty mild one. Had a plot plot while TLJ literally sped on the face of legacy characters. Yeah. Have you seen Glass Onion? I have not. Watch the Disciplined Gang in Red Dead 2. Here, I'll, I'll put it up. I'll put it up as a... There you go. This? What are you talking about? Disciplined Gang in Red Dead 2. I think you mean by those, but... Shit, what were we watching? Less, right, okay. I can try to examine if The Last Jedi really was as controversial as we all made it out to be. As someone who liked The Last Jedi when it came out and was defended the movie countless times, I wanted to rewatch it to see if my views still held up, and I wanted to engage with the arguments of people who really didn't like the movie. Now there are some aspects of this how about the Fallout video now? Which Fallout video? Uh, the Fallout 3 is is like the best RPG. We already watched that one. Film that I think are easy to agree on, such as the visuals being really good. I mean, it's a very eye-catching movie. The music and the sound effects are of course also great. However, these aspects are pretty uncontroversial, so that's not what I want to focus on today. I instead want to examine some- I have a severe addiction to MW2 Warzone. I like MW2. I haven't played Warzone that much, but I do like MW2. That game's pretty cool. Some of the arguments against this movie, and then give my own takes to hopefully provide an alternative perspective on The Last Jedi. But of course, you lovely viewers should also leave your own perspectives down below so that we make sure we get all the nuance. However, I want to start off by saying that at the end of the day, there's not a correct- The New Vegas one I sent you? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll get to that after this one, I promise. ...answer. All the different aspects of this movie that I'll be discussing- I completely forgot about your video. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that after this one. ...have people who like them, and people who dislike them. It's not set in stone whether or not this movie is good or bad, it's just not. Even if there is- But it is bad. It's really bad. A consensus around a movie being bad, that doesn't invalidate the people who like the movie. To assume- That's- that's completely different. Just because you say a movie is bad is very different. Yeah, people can like whatever the fuck they want. You can like dog shit, right? But you have to recognize that what you like is bad. That's the difference, right? I try to bring this up all the time, like how I am with Lord of the Rings. I don't personally enjoy Lord of the Rings. I don't like it that much. Is it a bad trilogy? Fuck no. I can watch those movies and I can understand the craft and the storytelling and the characters that was put into that film. And it's really well done. But they're good films and I just don't like them. There's a difference in knowing what is good and what's bad and what you like and what you don't like. You know, it, it's, it's important to try separating the shit. You don't mix them up into a big gray puddle and thinking, okay, he likes it, that means it's bad. And it's like, no, and that's, it's not the best outlook of how to look at quality of games and movies and stuff, you know? Assume that films can be reviewed. Don't forget my recommendation. I forgot what your recommendation was. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. 
to I have the tabs open. We'll we'll get to them as we go along. And objectively takes away the nuance of film analysis. Don't get me wrong. And he has a good point. The new Star Wars films look beautiful. I mean, yeah, they look nice. Oh, we're also at two minutes. What are you guys thinking? Yay or nay on this? Meanwhile, while you guys are saying yay or nay, I'm gonna go squeeze the lemon again. So give me like another thirty seconds, and just put yay or nay in the chat if you guys want to keep watching this. I'll be right back. I am back from fucking squeezing a lemon. May, nay, 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 gay. Okay, may watch Griffin old vids. Okay, nay, snooze, nay. Okay, all right, we're going to pass up this one then. Um, now we're going to watch Fallout New Vegas First Impressions. This could have been a great game. Warning, spoilers. We'll give this one a watch. We'll see how it goes. 16 minutes long, but of course we know the rule. Two minutes in. And we'll see if we want to continue or not. Let me open up my other Modelo bottle, because I already went through my first one. There we go. Alrighty. I am ready. <clears throat> okay, let's see what kind of dog shit we run into. Oh, hey, she's wearing a Doom shirt. Already 10 points off of that. I'm going to wait, what the fuck? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Give me a second. My my earpiece disconnected randomly. Give me a second. Uh, there we go. I think I made it connect again tonight. It, it, there we go. Okay. Sorry about that. My earpiece disconnected, so I had to make it reconnect. All right. Here we go. I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh, if the camera picked that up. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I really hope the mic picks up the thunderstorm. That would be so cool. <laughs> Why would you want the thunderstorm to pick up the mic audio? That doesn't... Okay. Okay, this is going to be really loud. Huggable hipster. Ugh. You know, I don't... People can name themselves wherever the fuck they want, right? But there's certain names that just sound like they're generated from the 360 era. You know, you guys know what I mean? Like, if you ever went on 360 and you know how it randomly generates a name for you and you get the most weird generic names ever... That's why I sometimes feel like people make their names off of. What's going on, you guys? Oh god, this has got the cringe, yeah. It's your huggable hipster here, and it's time to piss some people off. I'm a little bit trepidatious, mostly- I'm finally playing Death Stranding, and I immediately don't know what's happening because I skipped the cutscenes. <laughs> there you go, man. Excited because as with every review, a game will be judged. We're switching to PC from console, my experience. You want me to watch that? Is that even worth watching? I mean, we can if you want, sure. Like, hey, you, come hither, come. Here, so I don't forget it. So I don't forget the video. Here. Because I try not to forget people's recommendations. I feel bad when I forget about what they want me to watch. It's like, ah, shit, I'm sorry. 
So I, I have it loaded up. We'll get to it, I promise. Join me in my, you know, splendiferousness. And... Dude, why don't you... <laughs> you know, this lady, she looks like one of those people that you would meet in high school that you would just completely ignore because she's fucking weird. You guys know what kind of kind of chick I'm talking about? I ran into these type of girls all the time in my high school. They're, they were the really weird ones. This is what the girl gives me vibes of right now. The really red lipstick with the nerdy fucking glasses going on. It's, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, yes, game, I'll join you. And other times, like this one, I'm like... She's even talking like one of those fucking nerdy chicks from high school. Uh, you know, I... I like these kind of games, you know? You know? <laughs> That's probably a horrible example. <laughs> but you, you get what I'm talking about. Like, oh god, no. So right off the bat, I want to let you guys know that I-, I can only guess you have 64 gigabytes of RAM? Hell yeah, man. I didn't finish the game. I downloaded more RAM. Infamous Fool 36 with the two bucks. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. My name is randomly generated 360 name. Oh, really? <laughs> you know what? I, I Looking at your name, I couldn't have figured that. Honestly, that's actually a pretty good name. I give you credit. And it starts with their videos with what's up, guys? Makes me want to die. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I don't know if you guys watch a lot of my videos. I'd assume if you do, if you're in my stream right now. Or watch a good amount. I, I hate doing intros for videos, honestly. Because I used to do it. If you watch some of my earlier videos, I used to start off the video talking about what we're going to be covering. But then I thought to myself, like, who the fuck wants to watch that? Like, just skip right to the response, you know? And if there's anything you want to cover, you do it after. Like, if you if you watched my uh, Avid Alchemist video, for example, right? I start off with his video responding to it right off the bat. And then I'm like, oh, wait, by the way, before we start, I want to mention, like, all these other things about this guy in, like, 30 seconds. And then I move straight back into the response. Because the thing about me, I care about pacing in a video. When you're pacing... When, when your pace of your video is very slow, I lose interest quick. <laughs> That's why I'm putting up this two-minute rule for every video we watch. Because I have a very low... Uh, 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 <laughs> I have a very low... Is it patience? I'm, dude, this is what happens when I drink too much. I, I forget the words of the definitions of the words that I'm looking for. I think it's patience. I think that's the word. I have a low tolerance. I have a very low tolerance for, like, shit pacing in videos. There you go. Because I have ADHD. That's my excuse. Game, I can Did you know up. that my name is also randomly generated? You know, FBI, I can believe that. Yeah, I know. I know. I didn't finish a game, and I'm reviewing it. What? Halfway through the game, when I got to the point, click off this and watch the Red Ted Dead Two vid. Did you recommend a Red Dead Two vid to me? Oh yeah, this one, right? Okay, all right. Yeah, we'll we'll watch that next, Kevin. I promise. We'll get to that. We we had to get to two minutes in this video to decide if everyone wants to keep watching this or not. Okay. In New Vegas, and those of you who have completed the game will know which area I'm talking about of where you're just about to go. You can have an intro in your video, just be blind quick about it. Yeah. Um, whenever I see videos of people saying like, Hi guys, my name is Bob Smith, and I'm here to make a glarby fucking response video to Jim Bob. You know, it's like, you don't have to tell me this. And they're like, Jim Bob's video is really bad, we're gonna cover it today. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of his video. I love um, the new game that he's covering. It's fucking great. It's amazing. It's just like, cut that shit out, you know? Just get straight to the beef of the fucking video, you know? That's what I try to do with mine. But sometimes I would say, I'd argue, that I don't succeed all the time at that. But I try to, <laughs> you know? 
into New Vegas, but you have to, uh, if you don't have like 2,000 caps, you'd have to get an ID, and you know, to, in order to go into the strip area. So that's where, you know, that's where I was up to. The bugs were preventing me from completing the game, and the, the bugs perfected me from completing the game. I guess that's fair. There were certain quest lines that were required to complete main missions, and I, I could. Wait, 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 you're mad that there were certain quest lines that were needed to complete missions? And there were certain quest lines that were required to complete main missions. Is there any side quests that you need to be required to complete the main mission in New Vegas? Like, I'm honest with you, I have like 250 hours in that game, and I don't remember any moment where I was like, oh, I have to complete this side quest to complete the mission. Maybe I'm completely wrong on this. Correct me if I am, but like I don't think that's a mission that exists in New Vegas. Potatoes Reddit voice sounds like God Howard too. <laughs> does it? <laughs> Bob Smith sound like a good channel name. It does, doesn't it? It's like ninety percent, ninety nine percent. But yes, my favorite feature is to skip the skip ten seconds. Yeah, like whenever I watch a Review Tech USA video. Everyone, I can guarantee you, fucking everyone skips the first minute. Like everyone does, because it's pointless. You're speaking too many of facts, like the title, tell people what's being covers in the video. <laughs> yeah. Was attrition span, not patience. Attrition span. Attention span, oh my god. Fucking hell, man. I'm a fucking retard. Attention span, not, not attrition span. What's wrong with me? Attention span. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, blah, bar, gun. <laughs> I think I fucking slaughtered your name. But I'm sure you'll forgive me. Sounds like modern AC games to me. Yeah, I kind of did. Yeah. Can we do the vote now? We're at thir we're not yet we're not there yet, okay, Kevin? Have patience. And I, I couldn't complete them, which I will dive into why later on. With that being said, this game was kind of a mixed bag for me. At some points I was like, oh, there are things I, I really love about this world and about these characters. And, and then there were either gameplay bits or things that I did during my research of where I just rolled back into my chair and sighed and thought, okay, here we go again. I'm back in Fallout 3. Okay. <laughs> All right. Potato had an autism moment. Yeah, expect that a lot from me when I'm reading. Because I'm going to be honest with you, I have the reading comprehension of fucking kindergartner. <laughs> the game kind of blurs a lot. What is this woman talking about? She's talking about, like... I don't fucking know. <laughs> She's talking about something like, um... Something like certain quests have to be completed before you do the main quest in New Vegas, which is like, I don't even think that's true. Lines between racism and edu sarcasm, and at points I was kind of like scrolling through different articles, and I was doing research, and I was playing the game, and I'm like, uh, why? <laughs> why? But on the flip side, this game makes characters so incredibly immersive. This game creates... If she's reading a script, why does she have a face cam on? She's clearly reading a script. See how she's looking down right now? Looking, uh, You could tell she's looking down and looking at her screen. That's because she is actually reading a script. Also, it's two minutes. So, how are we feeling? Yay or nay on this video? Let me know. Um, while you guys are typing yay or nay, we'll just kind of watch a little bit more and see how it goes. It's a fun deep dive into stories of each character like there was one that won the lottery and i did like a little deep dive research into his character he's so cool like I the guy that won the lottery you don't go into a deep dive of him all he does is say i won the fucking lottery and he runs away the the only deep dive you get is into the lottery itself what are you talking about lady what nay 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 okay People have spoken. Alright. Um, this is another um, uh, recommendation. I forgot who it was. It was Kevin. Kevin recommended this video. Writing with the Red Dead's most disciplined clan. He said to skip to the first two minutes. So we're going to skip to the first two minutes. 
But when we get to the four minutes, we'll decide if we want to continue or not, all right? I, you know what? I'm, I'm starting to really like this system of watching videos. We get to, like, watch two minutes of it, and we decide if we want to continue or not. That's how you keep the flow of streams, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a streamer. This is my first time kind of doing this type of thing, so. I'm cringe. I love dream democracy. <laughs> yeah, I do, too. Swear to God, she looks like a female American version of Pyrocynical. I can see that, actually, yeah. If this video is bad, it's Kevin's fault. Exactly. All right. So let's see what we're dealing with here. This gang on Red Dead Online. So I had heard. Speaking to them, you wouldn't know it. They weren't brutish. In our early chats, I was exposed to earnest commitment and a palpable passion for what they do. But it was long time past to stop talking the talk. I wanted to see this dog's bite, the toughest gang in action. I had my doubts, but the numbers speak for themselves. For every 100 applicants, only one We're will make in it the through. Airport in June, Artorias got me into a brown jacket meeting to see what that process was. Sorry, like. I got it. I got it. Text from my parents. My uh, my parents went away for Christmas, so I have to watch their house, which that's going to be fun, but yeah, how interesting. Skip the first two minutes? I did. I did skip the first two minutes, I promise. Innovation isn't always safe, but it has its rewards if done right. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Nearly all of the leadership was present, and the Let's premises keep watching. were rigorously guarded. <laughs> yeah. The group's dedication is exemplified that way. In the attendance, of course, but more so in the guards. These guys you see stood here. They're not idle. They don't listen to music or watch Netflix on their phones. They look at their screen. Potato lives with his parents? No, no, no. I said I'm watching their house. No, they they went on a cruise. Well, they're not going on a cruise, but they went on a vacation. And what they want me to do is watch their house while they're gone. So, like, basically I'm going to go through their house, like, every one or two days, drive over there and check up on their house and plants and stuff. That's what I mean. I don't live with my parents, no. <laughs> no, that's I'm not synthetic, man. And God. Uh, we maintain... A very strict situational awareness at all times when you are at an event like that we have guards posted um, most of the time they are are watching their map only and calling out potential threats or or other players as they enter our control area we apply that dedication to everything we do as an example we recently had a applicant that is no longer with us he admitted that he was playing Animal Crossing on a different device. Wait, what? Wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, what? I'm okay. Now I'm now I'm confused. Wait a minute. So, so this video is about people that are a clan in a game, and they take joining people from a clan very serious to the point that if someone's playing a game on a different device. They're fucking kicked out. Is is that what I'm getting here? Go from to potato is not a mama's boy. Hell yeah, man. Well, he... Do these guys still play? I don't know. Dude, does anyone play Red Dead Online? Actually, that's my question. I played Red Dead Online for, for like an hour. And I hated every experience with it. Yet again, I hated GTA Online. But yet again, I played GTA Online for like hours upon hours on end. How many hours do I have in GTA 5, actually? That would answer my question the best. Grand Theft Auto. How many hours do I have in GTA 5? I have 600 hours in that game, and that's mostly online. And I hated this version of the game, but that's for specific reasons. I only played it for 600 hours because of friends, but like... I like, really? You're not going to invite someone to your clan because they play on a different console or some shit? Is, am I hearing that right? He was meant to be on guard duty. He is no longer with us. Even if a gang of outlaws wanted to cause a little mayhem, everyone was confident the meeting would be unaffected. Operations like this being challenged by the anarchy outside felt like a thought that had been absent among anyone standing here for a very long time. Artorius played the drill sergeant and the test began. Oh my god, they're role-playing. 
Are they really role playing a fucking GTA? <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, okay. Isn't Red Dead Online shut down? I think it's still up. I'm not sure. RDR2, I just do story mode. Yeah, same. Like, whenever I play RDR2, I just mostly fuck around in a single player. I never fucked with the multiplayer. Z Herb with the 200, 200, two bucks. Thank you, Z Herb. I appreciate it. Disney made a new Willow show, poor Lucasfilm. I actually watched uh, 30 minutes of that and I gave up right after because I didn't know anything about Willow. But I even knew there was something really wrong with the show. Gan. The Lords receive over a thousand applications a year. They're harshly cut down to the best and. Oh my god, they even have an entire website? Oh my god. We are currently recruiting on PS4 and Xbox One only. Why? You must be an active player on Red Dead Redemption Online. We are no longer... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Reaper Lords... Uh, your name's Reaper Lords? Oh god, that's so bad. We'll be your only crew. Leave all Rockstar Social Club and online crews? Oh my god, what? Make your Rockstar Social Club profile visible to the public. Set your PlayStation Network. See, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I've never been part of clan on, on anything, ever. But whenever I've played games, then I'm actually fuck. I slaughter in. Um, for example, I don't know if you guys ever played this game, Battleborn. It kind of died off quickly. But I was damn good at Battleborn. And people kept sending me messages to join their clans. And they would send me lists of rules and shit. I was like, fuck off. I ain't joining your shit. I, I fucking go on my own terms. What the fuck? <laughs> and it's just like, I don't know, man. Why would you put so much dedication and time into being in a clan for a fucking video game like this. I just, I don't get it. It's not shut down. They're just not making any more content for it. They st Oh, really? That's interesting. Well, Rockstar confirmed they would stop adding content to it. Okay, I didn't know that. Getting lassoed and being dragged by a horse sums up. <laughs> That's true. I love doing that in the game. That's, oh man. Also, we're at the four minute mark. We started at two minutes and we're at the four minute mark. How are we feeling on this video? Yay or nay? What are you guys thinking? So far, this is fairly interesting. Like, seeing how fucking pathetic people are when it comes to clans and video games. But I'm, def I'm, I, I, I ain't the one that's voting. So, what are you guys thinking? You guys want to continue this, or do you guys want to move on to the next recommendation, which might be... What's the next recommendation? Oh, the idiotic crimes of 4chan's dumbest degenerates. I guess we can go to that next. Yay, 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 yay. Alright, alright, we'll keep continuing then. We'll keep going with this video then. I'll ask again, like when we get a little bit further in. We'll see how everyone's still feeling, but all right, we'll keep continuing with this. Have you tried a Budweiser before? I hate Budweiser. It tastes like fucking piss water. Actually, in fact, the one of the funniest jokes that I got out of fucking Grand Theft Auto V, since we're talking about Rockstar here, was um, Pisswasser. That shit had me laughing because it's clearly making fun of fucking Budweiser. <laughs> And that had me laughing. And handed over to the enforcers. The rundown comes next. An interrogation to affirm their fitness. Cracks are easier to find in You want to join a sniper clan? Hide, Fuck no. The final step is the brown jacket. Participation, dedication, and understanding are drilled in over an average of three months. Anyone can be ejected at any time by any lord for any reason. See, Gamer, step out. The last time we were alone like this, you were in a... God damn, this is terrible. White shirts. What have you done so far in a black shirt that's proven to all of us that you still want to be here and you're working hard as a prospect? What hangarounds have you helped out? Have you messaged Andy at all during his time? Fuck. I'm here asking how you can help him out. Uh, 
Uh, not all, I didn't any You've not held out your hang around as a boss fight should, is that what you're telling me? I, I held noob once, and the others now. You held noob once, it's not good enough. Do better. <laughs> what? The... what? I don't. Why? I don't. I don't understand. Okay. I've done a few RP in my life, right? I like playing classic RPGs like Dungeons and Dragons. That shit's fucking cool, right? But another thing I've done is Rust. If you guys ever played Rust, there's RP servers, and that shit's pretty cool. But the thing is, is like, there's a point of taking it a little too far and taking it a little too serious. And that's the impression I'm getting here. <laughs> My go-to beer is Stella Ortiz or Toys. I think I've tried that beer. Cowboy Edge Lords, yeah. Few will go on to earn their patch. Every wrong answer is followed by a bullet. Every <laughs> why though? Right answer by an unheard sigh of relief. Thing is, if you didn't care to win, you wouldn't have made it this far. In that, the difficulty of the recruiting process is neatly visualized. Real disciplined groups don't need to reject 99% of applicants, but the Reaper Lords do. It's how they're able to exist in a gaming landscape where most would consider this- How come- Now, if this was me, right, and I was in this line of fucking recruits, right, why not just start an uprising? Pull out your fucking guns and shoot the fuck out of everyone here. You know, see how well it goes. And of course, if you die, why don't you just respawn and just come back over here and fucking kill everybody? Why are you just letting this one guy come around and shoot you all? I just, I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. With all my heart, but these people make me want to die. Yeah, like, I like Red Dead 2 for the most part. When it comes to, like, gameplay aspects and stuff. And the atmosphere of the game. But this shit is just... Nah, the same for me. This concept ridiculous. It's because most people are weeded out. Nice face cam, thank you. I, I tried to lose some weight on, on camera so you guys could really see how I'm bulking up. I'm, proud, I'm glad you like my face cam. You need to work for it. Dedicate time. Sacrifice time. Energy. And enthusiasm. Sneakers. Also, I, I haven't played RDR online that much, but how come... What's this channel's name? White Light? How come White Light's able to play as Arthur Morgan? Am I missing something there? Like, is this RDR online and he's playing as Arthur Morgan? Like, that's kind of strange, isn't it? Is that a mod or something? For GTA to servers, you have to join a Discord successfully to complete a two-hour test? What? Why? What? What? That isn't. That's dumb. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Oh my God. Step out of line. Why do you want to be a Reaper Lord? Because I think it's one of the most awesome things that I've ever seen and done in gaming. I think that is part of being something online and offline. Uh, I think that men and women that represent this club uh, in the game and outside of this game are just amazing individuals and I want to be a part of that. Uh, period. Dude, that is that is some weak sauce of a fucking argument. I think you just customize his character to look like him? Maybe? I guess? I don't know, but that's, that, I don't know, that's interesting. You get to customize your character? I guess so, yeah. Maybe I'm just completely misremembering Red Dead Online. I'll take your guys' word for it. Maybe he just completely made him look like Arthur Morgan. It's like, okay, alright, that's fair. <laughs> Step back in line. Micah, get out of line, immediately. Uh, that's really fucking terrible. <laughs> Oh my god, these people are taking this game serious. Why haven't you quit yet? Uh, I heard if you're not a virgin, you can't join their gang. Shit. Fuck. I guess I can't join. Um, wouldn't dream of it. I'm not gonna tuck you in at night. Why haven't you quit yet? I'm really enjoying the process, even as intense as it can get. 
there's like sneaker says, there's nothing like it. It's a uh, really uh, impactful experience. Get back in line. Jimmy, good night. Just for Crazy Gill. Oh my god, they have to call him Lord Crazy Gill? Oh. <laughs> See, if I was in this right now, I would be the most sarcastic motherfucker in here. <laughs> right the... Oh, I can't take this. Oh my god. Alright. Potato's not a virgin? Of course not, man. Like, come on. Guys, I heard that if you're not a virgin... Oh, yeah, I already read that. Fuck no. I don't play RDR, so I don't wouldn't know. Yeah, I, I don't play RDR online either. I mostly play the first one recently, and the second one I kinda I kinda go through sometimes here and there. Oh man, this is the only gang I need is Fat Albert's gang. Hell yeah, man. You've been here since April seventeenth. You earned your black shirt on April 29th. Why should you stick around, and why shouldn't I change your name to Jimmy Goodbye? Oh. Oh, I bet the guy, when he said that, he thought, man, I'm such a badass. Roasted. You can. That wasn't even a roast. That was just really painful to sit through. And think it's silly, but their rundowns have been called personal. You may think this is silly. It is fucking silly. It's fucking stupid. Reality trials. In a crowd of a hundred, there'll be someone who thinks differently. When all those someones are put together, what are you left with? Time to find out. With a meeting at an end, the Lords prepared to mobilize. This was a line of 32 members, commanded at the front by the road captain oh, and God. reared by Artorias. This finish AC1 was great despite its age and being the first of its series. Definitely proof of concept. Yeah, I mean, that's the interesting thing about playing games that, that were brand new at their time. Like, AC1, if you played it, it's like, man, there's some jank here. But, like, you could see the ideas bleeding through it, you know? I think of a lot about games like that. Like, the first Fallout's kind of like that, you know? There's a lot of fucking jank in the first Fallout. But, yeah, it's interesting to see games like that. I went, that guy went and had dinner later that night and told his mom that roast. <laughs> yeah, you, he sat down and was like, Mommy, Mommy, guess what? I told someone I, I'm going to Jimmy goodbye them. <laughs> and he thought that was so badass. He was like, fuck yeah, man. I'm a real cowboy. Fuck yeah. Than I. What better display? It's amazing that people do that in their free time. Yeah, like the closest I've ever gotten to RPing in like multiplayer games is Rust. And even when I was playing Rust and RPing, I wasn't part of a clan. You know what I was doing in fucking Rust? I was the electrician. <laughs> like I I understood how like the crafting of electricity works in the game and shit. So I would go to people's houses and they I would put in chat like, yo, I'm an electrician. If you need someone to hook up shit, I pay for good scrap. And people would tell me, yo, I need electricity. And it's like, yeah, I'll go to their house and I'll hook up the lights. I would hook up the wires and all this shit. I'm like, fuck yeah. I don't know. I enjoyed that part. But I would never like do this type of shit. Like, this is too far for me. I want him to roast these people. Yeah. If their USP could I ask for dodging it's every drop the of water adopt in the a shower. highly disciplined, rigorously organized ranked structure, very much akin to that of the military. Bonds are built through adversity. Testing and training is rigorous. Insubordination is int Why is the frame rate so low? Or is that just me being retarded? Entirely intolerable. In a chaos What 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 frame rate did he release his video? Just ten eighty P. He didn't release it in sixty. Okay, and I might explain why landscape. The Lords naturally appeal to those of us with orderly personalities. And in consideration of that, it's little surprise that so many of the Lords have served in the armed forces, or continue to do so. You know what? Um, the, like I said right at the start of this, um, that sense Oh my god, is he doing an interview documentary type style thing right now? The belonging. I think that it, it... 
Yeah, that's uh, that's Bill's place from the first game. I know that. <laughs> it's not the same by any means, but it captures some of that. You know, you you go through your. When I went through basic training, I met a group of people. I went through that with. It wasn't just me on my own. Of course, it was individual. Oh, we went through basic training. Of course, we had to. We had to train ourselves to be a fucking gang in RDR online. Yeah, hell yeah, man. And I was proving myself that I am capable of joining the military, but I was alongside uh, 17 other people. So it was myself on my own as well as... That's how role-playing should be done? Yeah, I'm like... I don't know. I, I don't mind role-playing in video games, and I've done it a few times myself, but I've never taken it to this extent. I would just be that one guy people would call up for help. You know, I'd be like, yeah, I can help you with some electricity in your house. Sure, yeah, sure, man. Like, that's as far as I've ever went with it. I've never joined up a clan and be like, oh, I need to be, I need to, I need to join them, man. I need to be their part of the clan. It's just like, no, this is a little too far for me. 17 other people on their own and you get you form bonds close friendships some of which just you know, buy the, the red dead gold with was, free <laughs> their mom's credit cards yeah. so you create those kind of relationships in that kind of environment i suppose i recommend this bit to god howard and he say you didn't see anything cringe about it i mean yeah i i can see why people can look at this and be like this ain't cringe this is cool it's like, I don't know, man. Role playing in a fucking video game to this extent a bit out there. You know, like, you could play Dungeons and Dragons and play your own fucking character that you created for Dungeons and Dragons and all this shit and the Dungeon Master making his own story. But that's as far as that has ever gone. When it goes to a whole point of making an entire fucking website and making an entire recruitment type of shit for your clan like this it's just like ugh. <laughs> you could only play this game you can never play any other games when you're playing another game like animal crossing you're kicked out and it's like really <laughs> i have to be online 24 7 playing this shit you're fucking crazy through adversity you know you you kind of I always trolled that's yeah trolling and rping is pretty fun Linked together, and the hang around and prospect phase very much does the same thing. And I, I think I speak for myself, and I, I would assume that other people that have been in the military, because we've got a few members that are currently. We've been in the military. We're we're strong people. We're in the military, and fucking Red Dead Redemption. Fucking hell, man. Serving and have formally served. I mean, this would be all right if it was in real life. But like, yeah, like obviously this would have been fine. But, like, in, in a game to this extent, it's just a bit fucking out there. That come to this environment, and they fit quite, you know, they fit in because they understand the process and how it works and the, the reasons behind it. So, yeah, I would say that it is, it definitely does help being part of something that's not just me and a couple of mates gaming online. I'm actually part of a... Oh, okay. We're part of a specific group of individuals. We're not just friends hanging out in a video game. We're really into it. Like, I... Oh, man. I can't... I can't imagine taking this shit serious. It's like, yeah, we're not just friends. We're soulmates. It's like, what? Did you also get fucking married in this game or some shit, man? Like, come on. A very specific group of individuals, which I feel there aren't any other groups out there. That <laughs> you should be going to the gym instead. Fuck yeah, yeah. Are quite the same. So as a result, I get that sense of belonging. On Red Dead, you're seeing a first. When the Lords ride into town, they converge from a single file formation to two by two. Sim oh boy, do you see guys? You see that guys? When they're a clan, they go in. They don't go in a single formation anymore. They row. They ride into town as a group. That's how fucking serious they are. Only because it tends to make a stronger impression. It's not a sight most players are used to seeing. Some people just stand in awe. Some people take pictures. Some pe <laughs> people take pictures. What? <laughs> okay. People try to cause trouble, and that they will never do again. We're not just playing games. We're changing lives. Yeah. Hold up. There's no women. These guys are. Sexist cancel them? Fuck yeah. Again. Yeah. The concept of a disciplined structure is in beneficial in the obvious way that it provides- clan. 
hey, that's me, okay? I'm not even that bad, okay? That's me in the face cam. You don't make fun of me like that, okay? I take that as a personal insult. The unique gaming experience for anyone who can pass the bar. Beyond that, the benefit is strength, efficient communication, trained personnel, enduring philosophy with mechanical power and a sky-high morale. The Lords will keep the same fight raging for days on end if it means victory. The Why? Why would you... Ugh. They are empowered by the idea that they'll never start a fight, but always end it. Thank Thanks to international membership, if one combatant needs to sleep, another can swap in from a different time zone. What? They even have time zones to, ca like, catch up on this? Like, okay, if someone's offline at 2 a.m., we're gonna have this guy drop in at 7 a.m. He has to wake up at 7 o'clock in the fucking morning to hop on Red Dead 2. To help us in a fucking virtual game battle. Like, what? I... Oh. Why? Why? Oh, my God. That's awful. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Give me, give me a minute. I'm going to go squeeze the lemon again. I've taken, like, three bathroom breaks in the past, like, hour. But that's what happens when you drink alcohol. So I'm going to go squeeze the lemon again. While I'm gone, um, say yay or nay if we should continue this fucking video. I want to know what you guys think what we should do. So I'll be back. Give me like 30 seconds. I promise I'll be back. Sooner or later, I'm going to run out of alcohol so I don't have to keep using the restroom. So give me a minute. Righty tidy, I'm back. Okay. Uh yay, 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 yay. Okay, we'll keep watching it. Wow. Uh it, Kevin, it seems like you chose a, a video that's really fucking interesting to to just watch and respond to because like this shit's pathetic. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is fucking pathetic. <laughs> I'm gonna try and join the clan and find out why what they're really up to. Fucking good luck. It seems like you need a fucking PhD to join their ass. So, you know, good luck. Zone. Thanks to their personal communication service, when any lord is attacked, another 12 can turn the tables as fast as the game allows. It may seem ironic that in a game of outlaws, a hierarchy administrated by what has been described as a miniature government would be the organization it made a home for. But is it ironic? Discipline and freedom are not mutually exclusive. The thought of an army ran through my head as I watched all this go down, but at their heart is... I told you this was good. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I give you credit. This is... This is like a new low for how terrible the human society has gotten in life. Like, that. this is a perfect example of this right now. Um, I don't know much about this channel. I've seen a lot of his videos. White Light. Technically, he's not part of the clan. I think he was just recording and making it to a docu-video, which is fine. But, like, the people he's documenting right now are fucking pathetic. <laughs> like, I'm kind of curious. What are people saying about this in comments? Imagine doing a outrageous training process to be accepted into a game. In a game where there's barely anything to do. <laughs> fucking right, man. Imagine taking a game more seriously than an actual developer does. Yeah. Being accepted into a cringe lords is basically a badge of virginity. <laughs> you know, I'm glad I'm reading the comments and even more, even people in the comments are agreeing like, this is, this is crap. I give White Light credit for going through it, man. I don't know if he did it ironically or not. I would rather cut my, my dick off, dick in half, than do this, yeah. Something so very different. A bike Is your bathroom your bedroom? Kind of. It, it's kind of my bedroom. Like, I have my bedroom, then I have my living room, and then my bathroom, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I have a very simple house. Or condo. Not house. Destiny 2 raid players don't even take 
this game serious. Yeah, I've been in Destiny 2 raids. It's not even this fucking serious. Like, god damn, this is, this is, god damn. The gang. A substantial number of the Lords are currently in bona fide MCs and carry over the terminology. A full member. I mean, at least they agreed to let him interview and tag along, I guess. Yeah, I mean, give this guy credit. I've seen a few of his videos. He makes pretty good videos for the most part. And it's like, you know, you had the balls to actually ask these people, make a documentary about them. And it's like, you know what? Props to you on that. But, like, fuck. It makes these people look like fucking no-life's idiots. No-life's idiots. That, that sentence makes no sense. No life idiots. There you go. Member is called a patch, an applicant is called a prospect, and the ranks look the same as well, with your presidents and road captains and enforcers. The 1% figure seems almost perfectly appropriate in that light. And in a complete reversal, so does their association with Red Dead. Outlaw, nonconformity, loyalty, freedom. These words describe the ideals of MC culture. Yet they could just as easily be the Battery themes though. of the game in which we're set. Red Dead is a living, breathing world. Oh, bet you never heard that before. But it is, it feels organic because it feels believable, and that can provide one hell of a place to relieve yourself of our world. Escapism doesn't mean zipping off to an abstract void. When we say that word, we still crave somewhere ontological- You know, I'm gonna- I'm gonna be honest with all of you guys. I guess I've never had a dog shit life, so I've never used games as escapism, you know, look into a different world. I never saw them like that. I just saw them more as like really entertaining mediums to just like jump into a different time zone of of human history, you know? Th that's why I play Red Dead, you know? I like to jump into a different time zone of history and see how like games betray it and stuff. Same with Doom Eternal. I don't play it because my life fucking sucks, man. I need to escape from realism. It's like I never saw it like that. I guess some people do. I suppose, but I just, I never did. Um, <laughs> most normal RDR2 players, yeah. In a virtual environment, right? Yeah. I don't even think Griffin takes COD this serious. No. No, I don't think anyone takes the game this fucking serious when it comes to a clan. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> sound, a place that is still a place, a world. Unlike GTA, unlike Breath of the Wild, Red Dead Online can provide both a platform for an organization to thrive and an immersive location for its members to- Hey, this is, this is an RDR1 area. ...to escape. Whereas Rockstar's previous entry is now total chaos. But the nuance to Red Dead as a platform runs deeper still, as the Lords were about to show me. This was our final destination, an abandoned fort where a brown jacket was tied up and placed on the gallows. Seems more sinister than it is. We were preparing for combat training, where Red Dead's limitations became all too clear. This process involved the organization of two separate parties, two separate posse- Two separate parties to play this fucking organization? What? Why? Why? What? What? What the fuck? You, your job would be eliminated if you guys just all sign up for fucking Discord. Like, just make a fucking Discord channel and just all join in a voice chat and just call it a day off of that. Why do you, why do you need two different voice calls? What? <laughs> That's so dumb. Dumb. Oh my god. Alright. These people are fucking idiots. You know what? I should join them and be their fucking investor and be like, yo, guys, okay, you guys are doing something fucking wrong, alright? I don't even give a shit. And the first problem you're doing is that you have to join two different voice calls? Like, what? Why? That's dumb. Why not just make it a fucking Discord voice channel? Like, what? I thought Xbox or PlayStation had Discord. You don't even need an Xbox or a PlayStation for Discord. You could use a fucking phone, you know? The only game clan that is taken serious is Clash of Clans. I didn't. I Clash of Clans. Is that the, like, weird base building game? I remember a little bit of that. PS4 doesn't have Discord, but you don't need a Discord. You just use a phone. Everyone has a phone in modern age. Everyone has a phone. I can guarantee you. How do you even want to go through all the front? <laughs> through all the front and make this garbage? Yeah.
proxies using the anemic UI, all 32 people to customize their HUD in a specific way, and an objective that literally was just some guy hogtied on a stage. Well, let the games begin. Red Dead Online isn't dead because it's meagerly updated. Chess hasn't received a patch in 600 years, but the favored GTA continues to- That- That's a weird- That's a weird argument, but okay. I guess. I mean- Wait, what? Okay, white light. What was that argument? I'm sorry. Really updated. Chess hasn't received a patch in 600 years, but the favor GTA continues to receive despite being five years older can feel disconcerting. In red. What? The game's not dead because it doesn't get updates. It's dead because no one fucking plays it for the bullshit that that's in it. Like that's the problem. I don't even. All right. I need my chess 2.0. I guess so. Didn't in Discord make integrations on in Xbox Live? I'd assume so because Discord's owned by Microsoft. So, so does this game like go around and kill people or like what do they do in the game? I have no fucking clue. We haven't gotten to that. They do all this training and shit, and I don't know what they do. I guess we'll find out. Dead online. Hello there? Hey, what's up, Oski? Welcome to Cringe. Fine. You still can't rob a bank. And more impressively, you can't even rob <laughs> a train. I would just need a which, patch yes, at the board ladies game. And gentlemen, I means know. online lacks pre-existing features from single player. How could a clan keep themselves going in a game like this? Well, in GTA, you work to thrive. In Red Dead, you work to survive. To Did I play GTA to thrive? I'm trying to remember, because I played a lot of GTA Online. I'm trying to remember, why did I play it in the first place? I mostly played it because my friends played it. But why did my friends play it in the first place, then, in that case? I'd assume so to get, like, the best gear and, like, some of the best military weapons. That's one thing I remembered, like, GTA Online has some wild fucking uh, equipment. Like, they have jetpacks, and they have fucking hover cars, and cars with miniguns, and all this shit. So I'd assume that's why people did it. They didn't do it to thrive. They did it mostly to have cool shit. I guess that's thriving, isn't it? I don't even know. But, okay, sure. Loosely frame it. What is it that you're aiming for in GTA? Money to spend on extravagant clothes, stupidly fast cars, decadent luxuries, ridiculous weapons, and opulent housing. It's Hedonism Simulator 2013, and a parallel universe where Instagram influencers were all domestic terrorists. That more distinct progression system presents a clear advantage over Red Dead for most people. There's simply more to aim for, which isn't hard in comparison to a game where your main concern is getting a horse that's less of a pussy and a gun that's less of a piece of shit. Hardly a way to make your mark. Instead, it's consumables that the Lords look to harvest. What use is a military without logistics? Members are sent off earning money or hunting for foods, tonics, and everything else that can be used to enhance in-game performance. It's something, at least. But you can imagine how the nature of the Lords organization may provide means to keep themselves busy in ways the average player would never consider. Training, meetings, rides, content creation, and extended combat. Rockstar's cold shoulder towards this game is for most a cause worthy of a literal clown show protest, but for the Reaper Lords, no impasse. And consider this, what Red Dead's tighter player equality contributes is a balanced playing field. That is everything. Hard to have a fair fight when the Gucci gang's running around knocking- Why is my dog barking? Hey, come here! What are you barking at? Fucking dog. I play GTA Online to play with hook. I mean, to get cool cars and things. Yeah. Knocking people's heads off with a hypersonic dildo, only to be killed by a Russian kid who's been playing 24 hours per day, eight days per week since the game came out, and now has Superman on speed dial. An organized combat unit in mixed with orbital cannons is a tense and strange situation. Red Dead is no stranger to chaos, but the Reaper Lords can bring order in a way that is both fair and immersive. The efficacy of this clan immersive. is undoubted. The only question that remains is why. After having my throat slit and taking out my frustration on a dead body, Lord Crazy Gill brought me back to the ranch to watch the others pour in on horseback. They entered the house. Guards were posted outside, and that was as far as I was allowed to go. I couldn't see what happened in those walls. Or what? 
I? It's it's just a fucking house. Why can you not go in the house? Like it's it's a He heard a fire truck, probably. I bet the people in the gang probably thought this video would make them look cool and make people want to join, but <laughs> it just makes them look like losers. It really does. You can't join our building. This is our building. You can't join it. it it's such a cool building. You can't join it. Okay. GTA Online used to be good. You know, I used to play a lot of GTA Online. Way more than I should have it to begin with, honestly. So they go around and kill players that kill other people? I have no fucking clue. If that's the case, then this is a shit fucking clan. <laughs> or hear it. They all rubbed one out for being so cool, yeah. A matter of principle, I presumed, but I was still distracted by what I had just seen. A full lobby arriving the way they did. There were 32 people with us. Wait, so it's a full lobby. So that, like, all the people in this game is a full lobby of their clan. So that means, like, you can't have Randys, so they're not going around killing other... Wait, what? So, wait, if it's a full lobby of a clan, what the fuck do they do? It was like, yeah, we're a clan, we're 32 people, full lobby in one game. And it was like, so what do you do with them? Like, you don't even kill, like horrible people in the game or anything you just you have a full lobby yourself it's a full clan so no one what wonder how these guys deal with hackers fuck i don't even know i don't even think hackers want to fuck with them because they're just like that's pathetic <laughs> an hour of death stranding and still skip the cutscenes and i saw What's going on for this time doing it in full screen? Nice. You can do more in Doom Eternal than RDR2. Um. In gameplay wise, for sure, yeah. I, I, I like RDR2 and love Doom Eternal. But I don't even. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's, a, that's a hard comparison to make because they're both vastly different. I think maybe they have their meetings in a full lobby of their own people. Probably. But the Lords are 80 strong. Does it surprise you? 80 people in a clan, that's nothing. 80 people in this one is everything. That's 80. Why? 80 people out of 8,000 applications. The 80 most open to a disciplined structure. The 80 most passionate for the clan. Like staff working on a movie. But if no money stood to motivate them, only drive for the project. Only drive for their brothers and sisters. Using their understanding of legislation, the Lords have organized international charity events. Their web designers put together a website smoother than silk. And their video producers... They made a website, huh? You know, I kind of want to see this website. Does he have it in the description? What's the name of this website? Okay, out of curiosity, I want to see how smooth this website is. Organized international and sisters using their understanding only drive for the project. Only drive for their brothers and sisters using. It doesn't fucking say. Using their understanding of legislation, the Lords have organized international charity events. <laughs> Boozer, and the pictures didn't even load, yeah. Reaper Lords, right? Is it Reaper Lords? Let's look, I, I want to look at their website, because if it's smoother than silk, I have to see this. Reaper Lords. Come on, fucking load. Reaper Lords... Ride or die, incredibly diverse group of strong-minded and steel-willed gamers. Alright, let's check out the website. Pride in being part of something special. Fuck yeah, man. Reaper Lords and an incredibly diverse group of strong-minded and steel-winded gamers from over the globe that each bring their unique perspective to the club as individuals we come together in video games to be 
badass bikers and cowboys. Fuck yeah, man. Our online adventures are epic. Our battles are the stuff of legends. And our celebrations always respect and honor our deep roots and club traditions. But Reaper Lords transcend gaming. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ugh. <laughs> uh, okay. Every one of our members have proved during the hang around and prospect process that we, they are dedicated not to just the club, but to one another. As such, Reaper Lords all share a mutual respect, commitment, and loyalty to their brothers and sisters in the club. Dude, there's no sisters. Don't fucking lie to me. There's no females in your fucking club. As we achieve common goals in our online and real world communities, together we are Reaper Lords. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What the fuck is this? Proudly support our local and global communities. If our community members have proved they are a virgin. <laughs> Every member has earned their patch, often at great difficulty. Why? Why? If you want to ride far, ride together. You know what? Apply now. I want to fucking apply. What do I need to do to apply? Membership in Reaper Lords is a privilege earned by a few and only after the commitment has been demonstrated and trust has been earned. One, all hangarounds will go through a multi-week evaluation process to be considered for membership in the club. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> but why? It's like, fucking calm your tits, people. It's just a fucking game where you play multiplayer sometimes together. You must leave all Rockstar Social Club or online crews, okay? A line chat user ID is required for application processing. You must install this app before proceeding. I have to install an app? What platforms are you? Least cringe gaming website? I don't know, it's pretty bad, man. Uh, okay, let's go back to the video. <laughs> <laughs> their web designers put together a website smoother than silk. And they, made, they made it into Reaper Lords and Gang. I read that too. I would disown the kid. I don't blame you. Video producers team up with the graphic designers to promote the clan on social media. Back in the Sons of Anarchy days, they even produced their own machinima. Today, it's a little... Oh, dude, no one. No, machine is bad. More timely. This is very serious. Stop laughing. Yeah, I know. It's super serious. Reaper Lord Potato. Yeah, man. I'm going to join the Reaper Lords. Right after I download their spyware, I'm going to join them. Tombstone, Arizona. No the way they made their own app, apparently. The most famous gunfight of the Old West will take place. Mackenzie <laughs> with two bucks. I think I can find an OKK clan <laughs> RP group instead. Probably. You know? <laughs> you know what? That would be hilarious. Can you imagine, like, all the KKK members, like, they know they're they're disowned in real life, so they're like, dude, maybe we could do it in Red Dead Redemption. Let's start a KKK clan. Like, we'll pretend that we're doing it ironically or something. <laughs> I can imagine that. That's actually funny. Brief but fierce, this battle would be studied by academics and dramatized in books for over a century. 
Oh, Jedi shit. Productions presents a gunfight at the OK Corral. Oh my god. Eighty passionate people is powerful, but it's something more, too. Before the ride, I had the chance to pull a brown jacket aside, and what I heard from him was not what I expected. Despite appearances, this isn't an actual state military, or even a typical clan. No owner has limitless power. No admins abuse their position. Redditors can't relate. It's democratically run, a meritocracy, and you are allowed to speak your mind without being ejected or shot. You gotta know your place sometime. You're the one who's prospecting. And, you know, you literally signed up for it. The big thing about it is to not really take it too personally. There's a lot of, a lot of good that comes from it too, you know. Reaper Lords have something called collective punishment. When we um, mess up, when one person messes up, everyone gets punished. And it really sucks to be like, Dude, this isn't fucking school. Oh my god. Oh. Why did you make me watch this? Oh, this is just fucking stupid. Why? Why would you... Why would you do this to yourself? What are you doing in your life that's so dog shit that you have to join Reaper Lords? And, like, dedicate your whole fucking life to a shit clan? Oh, hi there. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing, dog? Called the Koo Kids clan? Hell yeah, man. Like the catalyst. This is Red Dead RP, Red Dead Online. I think it's Red Dead Online, but people are RPing in the online experience. For that punishment to be the reason. You feel like everyone, everyone's resenting you, and oh, they probably think I'm a dumbass, you know, stuff like that. But in reality... We like your suffering? Yeah, I can see that. You know, it, it kind of really builds that sense of brotherhood even more. You're looking out for each other. You're not throwing each other under the bus. You're saying, hey, hey, what's up, man? You need help with anything? And something about... Oh, uh, why? <laughs> I need your help, man. My wife left me. Why did your wife left you? Why did your wife leave you? Because I kept playing part of telling her I was part of the Reaper Lords, and she didn't like that. It's like, oh. Uh... Gee, you know what? Let's teach that bitch a lesson. How about that? About that is that when you're... Wait, wait, I got a question. Let's say you're part of the Reaper Lords, and you're like a, a family man, right? You're married, you got a wife and kids. Do you, like, do you, like, kind of drop that for the Reaper Lords, out of curiosity? You know, so, like, let's say, let's say your wife is like, you're spending too much time with the Reaper Lords, and and she's like she wants to have sex or something and you're like not now honey i'm part of my reaper lords clan we're having a very important meeting like what like what do you do like, does your is your wife part of the reaper lords at that point like is she like there at the meetings and stuff and like what what about your kids it's like your kids are part of the reaper lords is everyone part of the reaper lords can can't relate to this because no admins abused their member. I mean, come on, that's bullshit. Everyone knows they abused their member but ship when they got it. Everyone does it. Come on, don't lie. Even Reaper Lords. I bet there's one stinky fucker in there. What punishment? It's a video game? But oh my god, to this extent? I just can't relate to this. Oh, I already read that. Bro, I hate in school when someone throws some food in the court that no one can eat on the court because we are a team, and when someone messes up, everyone suffers from it. Yeah, I'm, I've never been the biggest fan of that shit either. I remembered back in, like, elementary. I forgot what it was. I, I was a Lego kid. I don't know about you guys, but I loved Legos back in the day. And I had one this one teacher that had Legos. And she had one rule, one specific rule about Legos. And that was, do not lose them and don't use them as weapons, right? One fucker in that class decided to start throwing Legos at some girl and actually beat the shit out of her with the Lego. And because of that one kid, we were never allowed Legos again. Like, come on, dude. You ruined Legos for everybody else because you did that shit.
Come on. <laughs> on their website, it said they were raising money. What are they raising money for? I have no fucking idea. I don't know. Then the wife can kick rocks according to them. <laughs> yeah. Why he beat her up? I don't know. I don't remember. It was like elementary. It was like fourth or fifth grade. I don't remember. I think... No, actually, I don't remember. All I know is that someone ruined Lego Day for me. That's all I know. <laughs> Using Legos to beat someone up? <laughs> Hey, you know, Legos are deadly, alright? There's a reason why people say the worst insult you could throw at someone is saying, I hope you step on a Lego. Because Legos are no joke. <laughs> maybe, they're, maybe they're raising money for lip suction. <laughs> You're not the reason for the punishment. Like, if you look back on them, sometimes, you know, they make you drag a deer all the way up a mountain. But it's fun when you're all together. We're having a laugh. We don't hold it against the guy. We have so many different kinds of people. You got introverts, extroverts. We got men, women, military, civilians, professionals. Yeah, there's so many different kinds. You're not coming in here seeing a mold of a personality. You have so much diversity. It's it's really surprising. If there's no Mexicans in my gang, then I ain't joining. Or Australians. And that, that shared goal, like that common um, drive to be a part of Reaper Lord as brown jacket you hear him like almost choke saying reaper lords because he knows this is how cringe this is like listen to him say reaper lords common um drive to be a part of reaper lords as brown like notice he had a fucking stroke because he just noticed what he's part of brown jacket that's something that you really come together with the hard times only kind of real <laughs> it's only introverts yeah do my <laughs> gotta do my reaper lord clan <laughs> wife beats wife three hours later <laughs> yeah beats his wife because he's part of the reaper lord's like what honey i can't do that right now i'm part of my reaper lord's clan it's like goddamn dude affirm what's good about it as well it's an awesome process he made a fist out of legos i Again, I don't remember the story much, but all I know is someone ruined Lego Day because they beat the shit out of a girl with Legos. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he enjoys the punishments? I've been readily informed that this has nothing to do with BDSM, but I suppose it's no surprise. Everyone who makes it into membership does care for their brothers and sisters in the same way that everyone- Do they accept white Americans? Probably. ...is competent in a structure like this, because if they weren't, they wouldn't have made it this far. It almost made me want to join. I can't tell you how many stories I've heard of generosity and- I- my cousin got me a Master Chief that holds my phone and controller. Oh, that's cool. That's that's pretty neat. I've seen a few of those. Those are kind of cool. I don't have one because my new desk, my stand-up desk that I got for Christmas, which is fucking awesome, it has on both sides like these weird little controller holders. And since I have like two different controllers, I can put on both sides. And it's kind of nice. In conscientiousness of times they met up together, having crossed continents or countries. There's other documentaries chronic. <laughs> this is sad. It makes me feel how good my life is. Yeah, same. That's the only interest I get in this. Oh my, that's probably what someone looks like in this clan. But that's the only interest I get. Is like, man, you know, compared to these people in my life, I'm doing pretty damn good for myself. <laughs> just that. What they've done is they've invented natural selection for bros. If you have a class of people going through the army or a class of people going through anything, they, they end up having really tight bonds and having that group of people that you're going through the experience with together really adds to it. It, it adds a whole level of meaning. And, and for, for me personally, when it comes down to why we do this as a whole, it's a really good way of saying it. We, we're looking for meaning. You know, you, you try and find meaning in your know, job, your work, your friends, right? If you spend four hours gaming a night, why don't you incorporate meaning into your time gaming? What? <laughs> what? I'm, wait, what? Four hours gaming a night in your know, job, your work, your friends, right? If you spend four hours gaming a night, why don't you incorporate meaning into your time gaming? Why don't you game with people that you actually really like? Why don't you game with people that you can actually push towards something with?
What? If you wait a minute, if you already spent four hours gaming, why not incorporate? What? Wait, maybe I'm completely misunderstanding what he's saying. My comprehension skills right now are like fucking two, because my brain is fried from all the alcohol in this video. It's being absolutely fucking stupid. Is he saying that if you spend four hours playing a game? Why don't you spend more time with that RPing in a game? Am I am I getting that correctly or am I just fucking stupid? My aunt and cousins got me a toy control plane and it took two hours later. And it bro oh it broke two hours later, damn. Watch the EFAP on Synthetic Man next. Dude, that's like fucking eleven hours. I ain't doing that. Maybe another day. But I ain't doing all 11 hours. <laughs> is non-existent to them? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he is saying? Okay. I I had to make sure, because I'm not... We'll listen to it again, because I'm not... Okay. You try and find meaning in your job. Your work, your friends, right? Okay. In your know, job, your work, your friends, right? If you spend four hours gaming a night, why don't you incorporate meaning into your time gaming? What? <laughs> okay. Why don't you get with people that you actually really like? Why don't you get with people that you can actually push towards something with? Um, it really just- You're not pushing towards anything. You're just joining a fucking clan in a goddamn video game. It makes you invigorated to get online. It makes you so happy to get on and be hanging out with 30 people that have all spent a long time trying to get in this club. I've all spent a long time with you. I know every single person we've met today, you know, a lot. I, I've spent a lot of hours with each and every single person. I personally voted on almost all of them. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't really get the appeal of EFAP. Like, I think one hour is long enough to dissect how bad a movie is. is how bad a movie, game, or review is. I... I, to be honest with you, I, I try not to put, like, a whole time limit on how long a review should be, because I I always seem, <clears throat> even though I don't watch EFAP anymore, there was one thing that Mahler said, and I forgot where it was, that actually kind of stuck with me, right? Um, When you're watching a movie, and you're watching a certain scene, for example, let's use a scene from Inglorious Bastards, the very beginning scene of that movie where it's uh, the, the Nazis are looking for the Jews inside the guy's house, right? You can talk about that specific scene for like almost 30 minutes on its own, and that's a 10-minute scene. And there's a lot of things you can pick up and talk about, and that's are, are really interesting. So, like, I don't see anything wrong talking about a movie longer than the movie itself, right? It's just depending on how you incorporate that time. So if you want to talk about the Quentin Tarantino movie, Glorious Bastards, and talk about the first 10 minutes in like a 30 minute video, you can do it because there's a lot of like things that are interesting, like the characters, how they act in those moments, what they're saying, and what's, uh, what's important in the scene, and like how it cooperates and develops as it goes along and the tension being built. It just depends how you do it. Like, if you want to make a fucking five-hour video talking about how fucking dog shit, I don't know, She-Hulk is, right? You can do it. There's enough fucking content in there to make a five-hour video talking about how shit She-Hulk is. It's just, like, how you do it, I suppose. You know? I, I I don't mind long videos. Like, even fucking YMS's Lion King video. I found it really interesting and informative on a lot of things. But it, it just depends how you do it, I guess. I don't mind three-hour videos if it's interesting. Yeah, like, if it's an interesting video. For example, right? One of my favorite uh, YouTubers. Here, I'll show you. I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite YouTubers. 
This guy right here, internet historian, fucking phenomenal guy. I love his videos. He makes some of the best fucking videos, man. I love him, right? <clears throat> and you watch his videos. This is an hour-long video about a man in a cave. And it's the most unique and interesting story that's ever been presented in a fucking YouTube video. It just depends how you fucking portray it. How you do it. Do you make it entertaining for the, for the viewer, you know? And you know, it, that's just how it goes. When you're watching like a two-hour video of someone that didn't edit their audio or edit their video, it's painful. But when you watch an hour-long video that someone puts some, like work into... You could tell, and it makes it more interesting to watch at that point, you know? I think that makes sense. To be fair, I'm talking out of my ass right now because I'm really fucked up, and, you know, so. I watched a COD Zombies entire story online video that's seven hours long in one sitting. I can't sit it through a one-hour podcast. Yeah, that's what I mean. It just depends how interesting the person makes the video and how interested you are in the topic, you know? Like, more than an hour and a half is long enough to critique a movie or a video game. Going longer is pushing it. I don't even know about that. Like, if there's enough dog shit to talk about, then you can make a fucking 12-hour video talking about how dog shit fucking... I don't know. You, you How about this? You can make a five-hour long video on talking about how Neil Breen's a fucking master class of a director, you know? You can do it. Fire video of Doctor Who from Jay. I don't have any interest in Doctor Who. So if I watched that video, I would probably get through maybe 10 minutes of it until I lose interest. See, that's what I mean. I love Internet Historian. Yeah, he's great. He's he's so good. He's funny because he adds memes. Not just that. He he puts effort. You watch his videos and you could tell like he he gets actors he gets like photoshopped pictures of certain areas and puts them together to make them look like they are. I can tell watching Internet Historian videos, he puts a lot of fucking effort on how they're made. Like even this, like he had to get a Photoshop picture of a fucking cave or this specific cave that he's talking about. Get a Photoshop picture of the person or character. It's not just memes. He does a good job. I try to stay away from the meme thing. I try to do more interesting things lately, but, you know. Internet Historian's amazing. Yeah, he's great. I watched his, this dude's video on Follow76. It was top-notch. Yeah. He makes really entertaining videos, and they're like hour to an hour and a half long, and they're super good, you know? I don't know how motherfuckers still understand Destiny lore. I, I don't understand it. <laughs> Yet again, I never paid attention to it. My family dinner. What did I miss? Uh, we're watching garbage. The toughest clan, sure. The numbers alone prove that. What I didn't expect is that they'd be so intriguing, or for that very toughness to make them so real. I came up with nine other, or eight other Reaper Lords uh, in a large uh, Browning class, and all of us were patched in one after the other um, in a short amount of time um and i will dude I, you know red dead 2 say what you will about the game but man it's visually striking four years later and the game's graphics fucking hold up really well i would be curious how they look up after 10 years from now because even red dead 1 still looks moderately good for its age if you up res to resolution and give it higher frame rate it still holds up really well so I'm curious how well Red Dead 2 will hold up. Because still, it still looks really nice. Always remain tight I really like the look of Red Dead 2. It's a really nice a, looking game. Members of this club because we came up together. We had that shared experience where we built those bonds. As, again, as we crawled through the mud and fought bears with our hands <laughs> together uh, for months and weeks at a time. It, it, it builds those relationships that... that really couldn't be built any other way in an, in an online virtual environment and to, to reinforce the what art has just said about about trust i have never met that man face to face but if he showed up at my door tomorrow there'd be no hesitation he'd have to run to the house i know who he is and and i trust him
Artorius went on to reveal a surprising truth. The average age of the Lords was 30. They hadn't a single member under the age of 18, a range that peaked at 52. There's a great deal of variance, not unlike anything Jersey? you'd expect Wait a from minute. gaming. You're telling me there's someone in this group that's the age of 52? Wh why? What are they? What? Maybe they're retired. Maybe that's why. I actually watched Destiny lore. I, when it comes to the lore of Destiny, I haven't watched a lot of lore videos, but I watched videos on what's the best type of um, equipment for your character build and stuff, but that's as far as I went with it. I'm curious if you have ever heard about Epic Games getting sued for 500 million by FTC. No, I didn't. I didn't even know about that. <laughs> I don't know the member of this clan was in the same orphanage. What? But the mean is nonetheless far older. Different ages tend to seek different things. Perhaps this is the natural consequence of a shared compulsion among more matured players to enhance their experience online. It inevitably manifests itself in an aim for meaning over score. Many fear that the youngest of us know no better than the red hot hatred and jealousy. Halo and COD Zombies lore are really interesting. Eh, I mean, Halo? Sure, I'll give you Halo for the most part. Call of Duty Zombies? Uh, I lost interest after Black Ops 2. So I'm not very full on the lore. I did watch a lore video from someone. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it's the story of Call of Duty Zombies. Is that like there's two different timelines, right? And one of those timelines went back into ancient times. And the other timeline died i don't even know <laughs> like i don't know call of duty zombies story is fucking weird policy that exudes from social media sites like twitter or instagram or the roblox forums the glory days of minecraft are over i consider myself lucky what about them? Making us hate one another is a tried and tested business model. And as it exacts its toll, what do we become? A nameplate is just a sequence of symbols. It can feel like genuine compassion were a half-forgotten dream. Having spent time in what I can easily describe as the polar opposite to the flavor of online social engagement I was used to, I remembered it. Some join for the sense that they're a part of something greater. Some I join because they're orderly them. people and to serve a structure serves them just as well. Some join because left wanting to enlist myself in another oh he wanted to enlist himself oh boy lifetime for you though their application box is open mm. oh this is an ad okay well damn that was that just made a whole new low of uh fucking human degeneration for me so good on them i guess all right uh, fucking Kevin, thank you for making me want to die inside from watching this video. Appreciate that. Really appreciate it. Alright, so our next recommendation was The Idiotic Crimes of 4chan's Dumbest Degenerates. Oh, boy. So, uh, everyone's clear on the rules. We'll watch like two minutes of this and see if it's intriguing enough to watch. I already don't like this man's Harry Potter glasses, but you know what? That's we'll just skip that. Has the most weird in fans more really? Only twenty year history. The site has seen its. I'll hop off for now. All right. See you later, Eric. Fair share of high profile criminal activity. Many of you might be familiar. Nay. Hey, we have to give it two minutes, okay? FBI, don't don't judge too quickly. 
familiar with some of the more grisly stories, such as the nightmarish case involving a murderer posting gruesome images of his victim to the website. It's a dark story among dozens of other disturbing crimes that have been shared anonymously to the board. But on 4chan, not all crimes are created equal. Some of 4chan's most infamous and compelling criminal stories aren't actually related to murder at all and are far less serious in nature. The case is becoming notorious simply due to the sheer idiocy of the criminals responsible. From a coupon counterfeiter admitting to defrauding companies for hundreds of thousands of dollars, to a thrill-seeking con man posting himself committing a bank robbery, to a college professor getting exposed for assaulting protesters with a bike lock. In today's video, I'd like to take a look at some of 4chan's most mind-bogglingly stupid lawbreakers, and also instances where members of 4chan banded together to bust dim-witted perps. These are 4chan's dumbest criminals. I already want to die. If you're looking at a last video, can you you suffer inside and look at the official Barbie teaser because oh god the Barbie teaser what wait what they're making a Barbie movie with is that Margot Robbie don't get me wrong Margot Robbie's fucking hot right but she's gonna be in a barbie movie now i have to see this since the beginning of time since the first little girl ever existed there <laughs> this guy look like he tried to join the reaper game <laughs> have been yeah dull. But the dolls were always and forever baby dolls. Until Ryan Gosling's gonna be in it? Oh. This background looks awful. Oh, this. Uh, I don't even like Barbie, and this is painful to sit through. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't even know this existed until someone told me about it just now. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Why? Why would you tell me to watch this? Why? I didn't even know. I could have lived my whole life without knowing this ever existed. Oh, okay. Alright, let's just finish this. Like, Margot Robbie's really cute, right? Like, I liked her once upon a time in Hollywood and fucking, uh, uh, Wolf of Wall Street. That's, like, one of her best movies right there. Those two are one of her best movies. But, like, uh, okay. Is this Space Odyssey? Is this a 2001 Space Odyssey reference? I don't, it sounded like it, huh? I'll watch it if it has Ryan Gosling. I'll watch it because it has fucking uh, Margot Robbie in it. I'll give it a shot. I know I'm gonna hate it. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking want to die through the whole thing, but I'll watch it. Why not? Fuck it. It might be good enough for a video. This movie will make three billion dollars. Yeah. Do a review of this movie when it comes out. If it's bad enough, I might do it. We'll see. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Ground News for sponsoring today's video. Ground training. News is a news app and website that aggregates breaking news. 
No one cares about your fucking ground news. There are few crimes out there more romanticized in media than bank robberies. From TV shows to movies to books, the crime has been featured as the main source of conflict in many a fictional work. This of course leads to morons thinking that the real world works like a movie and uh, you know, they get ballsy enough to feel like they can pull off a bank robbery themselves without facing any consequence. And some are even dumb enough to live blog their robbery attempt on 4chan. On August 20th of 2015, an anonymous 4chan user creates a thread where they claim they would be giving updates about a bank robbery that they were about to commit. The thread begins with the individual describing what they would be wearing while the robbery occurred. Why would you... Why would you... If you're gonna rob a place, why would you tell people why you're gonna where you're robbing and what you're robbing? Like, why that doesn't? Why would you do that? That doesn't make any sense. Why? Why would you? What? Nay, this is boring. Yeah, we might skip this. We'll we'll give it another minute. All right. a hat, sunglasses, and a sweater. To further back up his robbery claims, he stated that he'd be using a realistic looking BB gun to pull off the heist, and that he would make his grand escape on a bicycle that he had purchased for the sole reason of rob <clears throat> robbing the bank. Okay, today is the day. I'm going to walk into the bank at 3 p.m. with sunglasses, a hat, a sweater, a BB gun, and this note. I'll get out, dump the sweater and BB gun, and ride out on my bike back to the hotel. The robber then adds that he's getting a bit of a buzz on before his robbery attempt. I'm drinking a little bit of liquid courage before the heist. Fuck me, I'll probably be a nervous wreck when I get there. It's bad enough I have anxiety. Now, of course, the man was initially mocked by his peers, you know, thinking him to be nothing more than an attention-seeking shit poster. This guy just wanted to get caught? Yeah, I don't know why you would make your escape vehicle a fucking bicycle, but, you know. To each your own, I guess. Where you're sure saying, I'm going to rob you? Yeah, like, you don't tell people, if you're going to rob a place, you don't tell people you're going to rob a place. It's, it's, it's like fucking stupid. Board members were able to discover that this individual was a resident of Jacksonville, Florida, due to him announcing... Um, that explains. Yeah. He's a Florida man. Yeah, that, okay. That's why. That explains a lot. Alright, what are you guys thinking, yay or nay, on this fucking video? Because so far, eh, I don't know. 32 minutes long, eh, it's not really captivating me, but if you guys are into it, we'll keep watching. If you want. If you want, let's see. My oh yeah, I already read that. Oh, fuck me! Ugh. The public dystopia of queer speculation? What the fuck is this? Why is this showing up on my recommendations? Nay, nay. We got one yay and two nays so far. Ryan Gosling struggles to explain the Barbie movie. I don't blame him. I just kind of want to see the robber part. Yeah, I guess. How long is the robber part? Seven minutes. Yeah, we, we can see how the robber plays out then. Announcing his plan in a previous post days earlier, but not much else was known about this individual at the time. This individual's thread announcing his bank robbery plans would fall silent and the OP stopped responding, and most people sort of assumed that, uh. Well, who the fuck has lava lamps anymore? That shit is so... Yeah. You know what? What else is there to watch? What's Dreamcast Guy made? I haven't caught up on Dreamcast Guy in a while. Exposed? Dreamcast Guy Exposed? Wait, what? I want to see what this is. Dreamcast Guy gets called out on Mooch's podcast? Okay. <laughs> Poor fucking Dreamcast guy. Well, not really. Poor Dreamcast guy.
Damn, I was expecting some hardcore exposed videos on Dreamcast guys. Nintendo needs a new console badly. Yeah, figured that. Man, there's just nothing good, huh? Who else should we check? Lava lamps are cool for a week or two. Hey, yeah. 2003 wants this lava lamps back here. Watch Breaking Bad full episodes next. Hell yeah, man. Just watch all of Breaking Bad right here. I don't know. I might, I might, I might check out early. Is there any Harmon Smith videos? Here, we'll check Harmon Smith. And then if there's nothing interesting from Harmon Smith, I might check out early. Did Gamergate win? Okay. The current state of Cody Lee. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Pretendo YouTubers to return form for Platinum Games. Has become Japan's Toby Fox. Who the fuck is Toby Fox? Yeah, there's nothing interesting from uh, good old Harmon. Why free DLC for COD is bad? Why DLC? Okay, sure. Yeah, we can watch that. Why free DLC for COD is bad? A detailed look on how Call of Duty DLC has gotten worse. Is that what you're talking about? Because I don't see it. Why PL DLC isn't as bad as you think? I'm gonna assume it's the first one, right? About the amazing Lucas. Has he even made anything? Watch Griffin's old videos, especially his Final Fantasy 15 video. I don't know anything about Final Fantasy 15, so if I watch that, I would be lost on the context. Free DLC is ruining Call of Duty? Is that the one you're talking about? Because I don't see the one that you titled. I'm going to assume at least this one or this one. Or this one. 271 views. Oh, let's see. Let's see what this video is. What's good, you lot? Welcome back to Last Class Channel. And today I'm going to be talking about why I think free DLC is ruining Call of Duty. But before I get into the video, if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to see daily COD Zombies content. I've made lots of videos, so make sure you check out one of my others after this one. So let me just start. Why free DLC? For COD is not a good thing. I don't see that there. Yeah, I don't see that anywhere. This is the only one that comes up. Blame Truth? Oh god, is that the guy that yells? I failed. Oh, God. Undeniable evidence of skill based damage in Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone. Call of Duty players continue to decline. Oh, yeah, okay. We've been 100% lied to. Activision is in panic mode. Okay. I don't know. It's by Rich Toe. Okay. Let's see. This one? Okay. It was the rise of microtransactions and free DLCs and the downfall of Call of Duty. COD 4 and onward, I'm going to look at all of their DLCs and see just where they might have went wrong. 
Now, the act of releasing multiple maps as like a package for players, as downloadable content, was almost a trademark for Call of Duty games. Coming mm -hmm. in, even some of the earlier ones before COD 4. I'm just going to start add COD 4, so sorry to all you big Red One fans out there. But the earlier games were simply just starting out and adopting DLCs into their game lifespans. It wasn't as prominent yet. COD 4 had only one single DLC. This was known as the Variety Map Pack. World at War had three. They were just DLC 1, 2, and 3. And Modern Warfare 2 had the Resurgence and Stimulus packages. But these three games would definitely lay the groundwork for later DLCs and help set the standard for well-known DLCs. You know, ha I'm gonna be honest with you. I never played for, played. I never paid for any of the DLCs for Call of Duty, except when it came to zombies maps. I never played any of the new Call of Duty DLC multiplayer maps, but I played the new DLC zombie maps. Does that make sense? So, I'm kind of curious where this is gonna go. You know? COD 4's variety map pack had four new maps: Broadcast Creek, Chinatown, and Kill House, and would run you about 800 Microsoft points or 12. Really, bought. Pot, fry, blah, blah, broadcast was part of this map pack <coughs> i didn't even know that i thought that was like part of the vanilla game that's news to me microsoft points was a currency for xbox it's it's in yo microsoft points i remember that shit remember when it was eight bucks to change your name on fucking xbox live that was fucking gay in the past now broadcast was taken directly from the game's campaign it was a broadcast station where enemy al-assad was broadcasting propaganda and would become a fan favorite even being used in verdansk and warzone creek was the largest map in cod 4's multiplayer this was just two houses you know there was a river in the middle of the yeah i remember creek wait a minute i thought you said these were like dlc maps from modern warfare cod 4 i don't i remember these being vanilla maps that's weird map it was in a forest chinatown was a remake of the popular quarantine map from call of duty 2 and kill house was a small little covid cough no that was that was a weed cough you know kill house given each new map their own personality and style to differ from those maps that were already on the game the dlc itself really came across as something different and it had its own personality to add to the game and for what players could look forward to with spending their money War that war did something slightly different with only having three multiplayer maps instead of the four that was in the variety map pack but it also came with a single zombies map with zombies being this new thing Verrect was the best it's one of the best zombie maps I'm gonna be honest with you Verrect was awesome I was I was playing Verrect in VR recently that map holds up significantly well Thing out of the world at war they wanted to make sure to add enough to it that the players would keep coming back with their dlcs the three dlcs were all priced at the same 800 microsoft points dlc one contained the three multiplayer maps night fire <laughs> he's smoking that gas station weed fuck yeah fire station knee deep and it had the zombie map for rough dlc two came with the maps bonsai corrosion and sub pins bonsai. The zombie map shino numa and dlc three was the last one and featured the same three maps one zombie map why is he giving us a history rundown of how DLC works? I'm a little confused on what's happening here. Am I missing? Those I guess we'll see. I guess he's giving context and history. So okay, I'll give him some. Mo uh, I'll give him some time. Breach Revolution and the Zombies map being into Reese. This was a remake of the Nightfire map from the first DLC. All of these maps fit a substantial theme of World War II, with its locations and the battles that happened in the game were in real life and all provided a meaningful impact to the game you know world at war was a really good game i i was recently replaying it on my steam deck and man that game holds up significantly well and i was thinking to myself how come i really enjoyed the single player campaigns of like the old call of duties because i played through cod 4 world at war and black ops 1 those were like my three favorite Call of Duties, and I replayed through those. And I was like, man, these campaigns used to used to be really fucking good. And then I tried Modern Warfare 2's campaign for like an hour or two, and I just lost all in complete interest. I still don't know why. I, I think it's because the newer Call of Duties are trying to look super badass and cool and the explosions and the action scenes when you really didn't need to do that, you know? 
and its immersion, as well as providing zombie maps to be loved for filler, all filler, yeah. Kind of could be that, still yeah. A big part of Call of Duty, even if they're a little disappointed with the newer games. With Modern Warfare 2, we got the two DLC packs known as the Stimulus Package and the Resurgence Pack. Maybe we don't need to go through the whole fucking history. Can we just like move on, please? <laughs> but back then it was honestly it wasn't just an overload of things to hold in your hand as you're trying to juggle through the game i definitely feel like it was a lot came out to the game was free and they love season to a better experience for the game who also was the first one to give fans a dlc dude are you still talking about the history of call of duty dlc oh okay we get it we fucking understand how DLC worked in Call of Duty. I don't... Uh, okay. People, if you're going to make a video called Free DLC is not a good thing for Call of Duty, don't spend the first half of your fucking video going over the history. We don't need to know. The people watching this video already know how Call of Duty DLC worked back then, okay? You don't... Uh, to watch being a, a psychopath in New Vegas, some of it, mm, maybe. You're not alone on this one. I thought it was cool, Call of Duty. Yeah. Skip some parts of it because of boring introduction. Yeah, it's parts of it. I've skipped almost half of it already. Watch Angry Joe's Callisto Protocol review or his MW2 video. We can do that, sure. I feel like the newer COD games campaign are trying to be realistic and cinematic, unlike the older CODs, which are basically action movies. I wouldn't really agree with that, though. If you play World at War or COD 4, those aren't really action movies. They're more... way grounded. <laughs> For example, I want to show you guys something. I don't know how many people know this, but I found this out, and I found that really interesting. Um, well, give me a second for my brain to work, because I'm going to malfunction on the name of the movie. I'd be at the gates, okay. Okay. Um, have you guys ever seen the movie Enemy at the Gates before we start this? Probably not. Enemy at the Gates, believe it or not, and if you play World at War, are basically the same movie. And Enemy at the Gates is not an action movie. It's a very, very serious movie about studying good. Like, I, I don't believe these were action movies. They were rarely trying to portray real life war and how these, how this shit worked. You know, when you play through the new Call of Duty games. They're more, they're more trying to be cool and trying to be badass instead of more like betraying the, the horrors of war, you know? That's what I miss from Call of Duty right there. Like, look at this shit. I mean, still, they're both movies, but they're, one is specifically trying to betray the horrors of war and one's copying, not copying, but it's taking inspirations from a movie that took the scene. Look, you even got the Reznov scene. It's like, okay, you know, take the gun, reload the gun, and shoot when the airplanes are above. You know, like it's 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 a beat for beat remake of this scene, but played in first person, of course. See, and like this isn't an action movie. It's a very serious, like World War Two movie. You know. So I don't I don't even know that's true. I meant they had a story, but they were fun. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, fun is a very subjective term. It's hard to quantify on that, but like they they were really enjoyable games, that's for sure. They were really interesting games. Maybe you're now oh yeah i don't know this video was that bad it it wasn't <laughs> to be fair we haven't really gotten that far in the video because the guy's still talking about the original dlc for the 
fucking games. We haven't gone to why it's bad yet. We're still waiting for that part. Black Ops Cold War is a lot like an action movie. Yeah. Yeah, I played Cold War's campaign. It's a lot like an action movie. COD is trying to be the MCU. If you played the last past three CODs, you'll realize that easily. Is it really? I don't know. I I haven't played a COD campaign since Mon well, after Modern Warfare 2 or before Modern Warfare 2, the last COD campaign I played was Black Ops 1. Well, actually no. Which one came out first? Was it Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops? To be fair with you, I'm not good with my history of Call of Duty, but whichever one of those two came out last. Or was it Modern Warfare 3? I played Modern Warfare 3, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm not good with my, my Call of Duty history, but yeah. Modern Warfare 2 campaign it got right is the characters actually have character development interaction do they oh, okay oh, well. yeah. Nubis on the map pharaoh it was almost like the specialist system where you would gain he's still talking about the dlc oh my god dude just get to your fucking point please oh my god there's just falling into the trap of these loot boxes a good game following the path on DLC content. It released four DLC Okay, I think it wasn't Black Ops 4 the first one to introduce free DLC, so we might be starting around here then. Yeah, too much MUC MCU influence. Play the title intro, copy and paste the Marvel intro. <laughs> really? Modern Warfare 2 came out first, did it? Okay, so yeah, that was the well, Mono for 3 was the last one that I played the campaign for. I still played Treyarch Call of Duties when it came to zombies, but... Uh, I have Black Ops 3, but I only have zombies installed for that one. So item being a free item and all the others locked behind a $20 purchase. It was aimed to be as free to play... This is a midnight style video? Dude, this is a midnight style stream. I'm I'm buzzed to fuck. I've smoked a lot, and now we're just kind of watching a guy ramble. <laughs> Two people ramble, honestly. I'm just kind of rambling right now as we speak, but I'm kind of having fun with this. This is pretty enjoyable. Not the video itself, because I've had to skip almost three fourths of it, and hopefully we're getting to why DLC is not a good thing. Free DLC is not a good thing. Friendly as possible with them still being able to... Modern Warfare 2019 was the first to have free DLC. Okay. I'm glad someone knows in here. So we'll skip to Modern Warfare 2019. Which is right here, it looks like. Call of Duty Modern Warfare, not to be confused with Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, was a revamp of the Modern Warfare trilogy. As well as the first Call of Duty to feature free DLC for all owners of the game. A seemingly great step for the games that would soon prove to be a back step more than it was a forward step. And it just gave them the chance to shovel more microtransactions because now instead of making money off of these DLCs, all of their extra money that wasn't the $60 purchase would have to come from microtransactions. Though this was the first game to finally rid the games of loot boxes, it would still feature multiple seasons to its battle passes, all being a hundred tiers. Okay, and all I, I I can see where he's going with this. He's one of those microtransactions ruined games kind of guy. I see. Now, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I remembered maybe five or six years ago, people were bitching that games were pay the win, right? And people were saying, oh, I would be fine with it if it was, like, just cosmetics, right? So then developers did that, where, like, cosmetics are the microtransactions and everything else is, like, part of the game. But people still bitch about it. Now, maybe I'm completely wrong on this. Maybe my history is just fucked up right now. But I, I could have sworn that was something that was been said millions of times. Was the first to have free DLC game. So basically free DLC is bad because microtransactions. It seems like it's going to be that type of video. Yeah. 
Mind you, it took us three minutes for us to figure this fucking out because he spent the first 15 minutes of his goddamn video going into the history of Call of Duty for some reason. All having mostly pointless I just, why do people spend so much time on fluff? I bet this guy was trying to make a 20 minute video or some shit, 15 minute video or something. And he was like, well, what I have to say is like three minutes long. So how do I stretch that out? Let me add 15 minutes of fluff. That's what that feels like. Items like charms and reticles and weapon specific camos and variants different than the advanced warfare. If anything, social based matchmaking and appealing to casual audience thing ruined Call of Duty for me. I mean, Call of Duty's always been to a casual audience, hasn't it? Now, I'm, again, I don't fucking follow Call of Duty that much anymore, or often. But, fucking hell, I played Call of Duty when COD 4 first came out on a Wii, right? And I loved that game because I was doing damn good at it. And it's like, I don't know, if I was able to do good on that game on a Wii when it first came out, at like fucking 10 years old then or 8 or something I don't remember when Call of Duty 4 came out but I always got the impression that they were always for casual audience even back in its first days like when I played COD 4 that made me on the Wii mind you that made me want to go adventure onto their other games and made me play uh, well at the time when COD 4 came out what came out I guess COD 3. I played COD 3, then played COD 2, then played the first one on a fucking Wii. <laughs> you know? So, I don't know. I think there are always casual games. They've always been. I don't think that's the issue. And was packaged together crossing over with Warzone so I can get why people said Warzone was the MCU of BRs. Yeah, I can see that. As long as paid stuff is cosmetic only, then who cares? Yeah, that's the only that's the impression I always gotten. I'm gonna give you guys a a sad history of myself right now. So back in 2018, I was kind of in a bad place in my life, and there was this one game that I played, Paladins, right here. If you see here, I got a thousand hours in this game. Again, very dark time in my life. Free to play game here, right? I played this game so much. Never spent a fucking dollar on it. Because I didn't need to. Because I was really good at this game. <laughs> I was really, really fucking good at this game. But I never spent a dollar on it. Because I didn't need to. So I never cared about the cosmetics. As long as the cosmetics don't get in the way of the gameplay. Who fucking cares at that point? Very depressing example to bring up. Of me playing this game for a thousand hours. Because this game's garbage. But you get my point. <laughs> You know? All right. There we go. The thing is, the new games are made for people who are bad at the game. I mean, I was bad at the game when I was a kid on a Wii. <laughs> I think it's always been made for people that are terrible at games. Honestly, I would say Call of Duty is the best game to introduce someone to video games. On top of Halo, but that's about it. Always casual, the competitive came after. Did Call of Duty ever go competitive? See, I don't... Again, I don't know enough about Call of Duty. Maybe it did try go, going competitive, but... It never seemed like it needed to. New games have nothing memorable. It's safe story. That could be one part. Yeah. Paladins is fun? No, it's not. That game is miserable. <laughs> Stay away from that game. Don't play Paladins. Just... Save yourself the headache. Never play it. I'm slowly getting addicted to Steph Death Stranding. Help me. Are you really? Oh my. <laughs> but same for me. Same, but it was for me, but it was COD Mobile. Uh oh. 
variants, these were all cosmetic with added on attachments, but the game started to feel grind heavy that if you weren't spending hours of day to unlock these tiers, it wasn't really worth it to play. You had to put every bit of effort into this game in order to get it if you weren't spending the money. Many of the DL- I wasn't paying attention, I'm sorry. My dog was snoring on my bed and distracted me. Let's let's back up for a moment. <laughs> that if you weren't spending hours of day to unlock these tiers, it wasn't really worth it to play. You had to put every bit of effort into this game in order to get it if you weren't spending the money. Many you didn't... I played a little bit of COD 2019 multiplayer. I didn't really have to spend that much effort to get things unlocked. I mean, for sure, for camos, sure, fine. But it's always been like that. I remember, like, when I really played a lot of Call of Duty, I think it was... Which Call of Duty introduced gold skins? Was that Modern Warfare or was that Modern Warfare 2? I remembered whichever one it was. I, I fucking... Or no, was it Diamond Skins? One of the Call of Duty games that I introduced Diamond or Gold Skins, I used to play the shit out of just to unlock those. And you had to put a fuck ton of hours for that shit. So, I mean, that's pretty normal for skins for Call of Duty, isn't it? To just, like, play the fuck out of it. <laughs> But even then, you didn't really have to try that hard because it's fucking Call of Duty, you know? I got burnt out on Modern Warfare 2, 22-2 in a week. I don't know how Griffin plays it for four hours straight. I played it for... When did I start playing? I started playing it when Shipment came out because that was it had like a 24-7 Shipment. Yeah, I have a lot of Call of Duties. Don't mind that. There it is. Yeah, when Shipment came out. That's that's when the game was very enjoyable for me. But after that, I still play it here and there for shipment, but that's as far as I go with it. Is the new games are made... Oh, I already read that. I don't know. Another thing that's ruining multiplayer games for me are splints. They are the worst. Again, I guess it's just me, but whenever I play Call of Duty, I just, I kind of just shut my brain off and play game, or not play games, but I play like movies or YouTube videos in the background when I'm playing Call of Duty. I just, I just do it to, to have something to do while I'm watching something. <laughs> so I don't notice that shit, I guess. Call of Duty is just one of those games I just kind of blink out on when I'm playing. So maybe I just don't notice shit like that, but that's fair. Introduced Diamond, I think. What was it? Black Ops 1? I don't remember. BO1 had gold camo. BO2 had introduced Diamond. Okay. Alright. That makes more sense. Did I did I play a shit ton of Black Ops 2? You know what? I did. I did play a shit ton of Black Ops 2. Yeah. I played the zombies of that mode. Oh, Oh my god, the PTSD of playing Black Ops 2 Zombies. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that haunts me. <laughs> I haven't thought of Black Ops 2 Zombies in years, and now just thinking about it, just bringing up Black Ops 2 and remembering those moments. Ugh. Ugh. Horror moments. Alright, anyways, back to this video. I'm getting, I'm getting sidetracked. Of the DLC maps added into the game's remakes of old maps, telling fans they would rather put work into these cosmetics instead of the DLCs, the things that used to drive these games that fans would always look forward to. Black Ops Cold War and this year's Vanguard all follow the sad system Modern Warfare gave us. Free lackluster maps that come at random times in between each other. Lackluster giving fans one or two maps at a time, with most maps being a remake of an older map from a past Call of Duty. Because I mean, I don't know. I, I'd prefer remakes of older Call of Duty maps because those were actually good. <laughs> I don't know. Whenever I was playing uh, uh, Modern Warfare 2019 multiplayer, the little I played of it, the whole time I was like, I'd rather not play these new maps. I just want to play the older maps because those are way better. And I'd prefer that. So, like, them adding older maps into the new Call of Duties, I don't see it as a big negative because I prefer those way more than the newer ones. I guess you could say it on the quality of their map design lately has been pretty crap, but that's that's a different conversation, you know. When was the last time you played Black Ops Three? Uh, let's see. I don't remember. 
November 30th. That was the last time I played it. I think I was playing a workshop map, too. I think I was playing the Shrek map or something. Yeah, that was the last time I played it. Oh, shit. Wrong. It's the best con, but the zombies is 50-50. Transit was the worst, but Mob of the Dead and Origins are straight masterpieces. Yeah, the ones I remembered playing the most was Mob of the Dead and Origins. I... I liked Mob of the Dead. I did not like Origins. But I played Origins because all my all my friends at the time played Origins. So I played it along with them. And because of that, I know everything to do in that fucking map. But then after that, I completely dropped out of fucking Call of Duty and Zombies altogether because that was just too much. And then from there on, I just, I don't know. I played Cold War Zombies, and I was like, oh, look, it's not sure on Toten, but it's more big, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah. Don't come to me for, like, good Call of Duty critiques, because I'm not good at them. <laughs> I dropped out of the series a fucking long time ago. <laughs> so, I don't know. Transit map PTSD, that map was so bad. Oh, yeah, don't. Ugh, yeah. Transit was something, man. That map. I remembered reading an interview of them saying, like, oh, we never, we're never going to try making anything as ambitious as Transit 2. And I was like, good. Yeah, don't. <laughs> don't. Don't ever make a map like that again, please. Fire plot holes, yeah. The Easter eggs are amazing. See, that's when I dropped out. I just, I don't care for the Easter eggs in Call of Duty, man. I just don't. I I prefer the classic Call of Duty zombies experience where you drop into a map with a M1911 and it's just fucking survive. I like that. And now it's just... Uh, I don't know. After playing Origins and it was just like all about oh, start up the generators then grab all the parts for the staffs. Go inside the robot. Grab all the staffs. Then once you want to grab all the staffs and you build them all... Oh, of course, kill the giant robot that comes at level 10 when you open up to No Man's Land. And after that, you have to grab all the staffs from even from the tank, and then you go on the tank, and you grab all those. Then you go back down. You build the staffs, then you have to upgrade the staffs by shooting the fucking symbols and grabbing all that shit. And then after that, you do... <laughs> it's just like, oh. I just prefer the old classic style. Just, yep, survive. <laughs> I can't do that shit is broken on xbox and pc there's a mod menu where if someone has it they can crash your game and break your dlc really shit I'm, that's crazy <laughs> mm, damn because if fans like the old maps why make new ones and truthfully in the beginning call of duty dlcs were special and for the fans for new maps to take the players attentions and a new zombie map or other game mode map to be played and looked at for yo snoop dogg's a fucking dlc item that's hilarious. <laughs> That's actually funny. I don't know. I wouldn't buy it myself, but if I saw it in the game, I'd laugh. I don't know. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. You just walk around and you run into Snoop Dogg. I don't know. For years to come. But the developers started to shift their focus to what money they could get from the fan rather than what good content they could put out for the fan. DLCs are no longer a special part of Call of Duty. We no longer sit in anticipation for a trailer and what fun new maps they might bring because the games are just loaded with pointless battle passes and shop items and so many remade maps that it really doesn't give a personality to the games and they really just... I think they were, they were remaking Transfer for Cold War, but with no fog, no denizens and fixing the jet gun. It, the only thing that should come out of Mono Earth or Black Ops 2 zombies that's actually worth a fuck is the transit zombies map. That tr Well, not the transit zombies map. The town. Town itself. This is, I don't know if you guys remember Black Ops 2 that well, but in Black Ops 2, there was the transit zombies map, and then there was the two uh, different areas from transit that was town and diner. Playing Town itself was actually a fucking great map it's on its own, but that's the only thing that should come out of Black Ops 2, honestly.
feel like cash grabs. And honestly, Angry Joe Mom for two review next. Yeah, we can do that. Sure, we'll we'll give Mar Angry Joe a watch. I don't care about the story and zombies. I see zombies. I shoot zombies. Simple fun. That's yeah. That's kind of why I liked zombies. Honestly, feeling like just a different season of all the same game with. Vanguard, Cold War, and Modern Warfare all showing up on the main menu of Vanguard itself, as well as Warzone. What's the difference between these games? Why? What's your favorite video game genre? Definitely first-person shooters. <laughs> I I definitely prefer first-person shooters over anything. Um, I think if you look at my my favorites, my favorite games, well, actually, I guess they're Elden Ring, it's not a first person shooter, nor is Risk of Rain, nor is Fallout 2. But my, f yeah, I like first person shooters the most. Something about them I just connect with. They're, they're really enjoyable. I've always played them. So, there you go. <laughs> I spend another $60 the next year if it's the same game with the same system, the same guns, damn near, just they look different. Here's a dragon skin. Here's God's, you know, I really feel like my- It was bus station farm in town, I think. Yeah, town was the only one I enjoyed the most because it had all the perks and pack-a-punch. That's what I liked about it. And the box only moved to two uh, places and they were very nearby and I liked that, so- Hot take here. I'm not the fan. I'm not the biggest fan of mystery box moving around the map. I hate that. But yeah, at that point, I'm kind of used to it. So, <laughs> Jan's actions definitely have ruined the DLCs. So to answer my question at the beginning of this video, yeah, microtransactions aren't a good thing for Call of Duty. But I sadly don't see them ending anytime soon. So I'd like to thank you for watching. It's been Ricto. Wow, this video was pointless. Holy shit. All right, someone asked me to watch Angry Joe. Mind you, I haven't seen Angry Joe in, I don't know, fucking years at this point. So, Angry Joe, uh, Call of Duty, I assume. Yeah, Call of Duty, too. Okay, before we start, I need to go squeeze the lemon again. So, give me, like, 30 seconds. Alrighty, tight. Give me a second, putting my desk in stand up mode. Because I feel like standing for this one. My leg's kind of hurting, so put it in stand up mode. It's hilarious. Oh, okay, Callisto Protocol video. Well, what do you guys want to watch? You want to watch his Modern Warfare 2 video, or do you want to watch Callisto Protocol video? Mind you, I don't know much about Callisto. Protocol? Callisto Protocol, not Callisto Protocol. <laughs> so, I don't know much about that game, so I don't know if I'll add a lot of commentary, but we can watch this one, you know? But we can watch Callisto Protocol, too, if you want. My Nintendo Switch is just full of arcade fighters and beat-em-ups, so... Callisto? Modern for I've seen Modern Warfare 3 and it's like 2. The Callisto Protocol because of the bad launch. Modern Warfare 2. Uh, you know what? We'll watch both of them. How about that? Well, I'm, I ain't fucking driving. Hey guys, I have so We'll watch both. Oh god. Oh my god, Joe. You got fat. What the fuck happened to you? What the fuck? I voted early. What the. What? What? I, oh my! What the fuck happened to you? Did you just decide to like chill out at a fucking Taco Bell? God damn, Joe! 
fucking Some hell. Some really exciting news. Me and GCO are talking behind the scenes. You're almost as bad as Nikado Avocado. God damn. I bet you chug those G feels down your fucking throat all the time. Holy fuck. Planning exactly. I'm not sure if I can tell you exactly what it is, but I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. If you can send me your. I hear your chair screaming, Joe. What happened to you? Flavor ideas right <laughs> now. <laughs> Maybe if you have ideas for tub art, send that to me. Yeah, hello. Yeah, you're gonna have trouble getting down that bed. Shit, I fucking need an entire tub of ice cream. What do you want? Yeah, yeah, this is Call of Duty. What? Battlefield sucks. What? Hello, sucks now? Oh my god, this is my time to shine. Commander. No, no, I haven't heard from him in a little while. He's almost 40? My god. I want you guys to do me a favor. If I ever turn, well, when I turn 40 years old in my life, and I'm still making YouTube videos, please, I will fucking kill me. <laughs> I, <laughs> ugh. Yeah, really? They're waiting on me? G Fuel is bad for you. I never had G Fuel in my life. I've had monsters. I like monsters. But I never had G Fuel. What do you think of Seth? <laughs> never heard of him. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Oh man, you really got fat. You gotta stop. You gotta lay off on the chili cheese burritos, Joe. The fuck happened? So you're 39 years old? That's right, man. 39. I just noticed he has his thermometer at 69 degrees. I don't know if that was like being a joke there or not, but you know, 69 degrees, you know. Quick! Come on! Come on! I'm ready! No, you're not. What is all this? Oh, these are No. Apparently, is it buffering for you guys? Apparently, it's buffering. It's not receiving video to maintain a smooth streaming experience. What do you mean, YouTube? What do you... Are people buffering or not? What are you telling me? This doesn't... What the fuck am I supposed to do with this information, YouTube? Oh, now it's excellent. Okay, well, alright. Gee, thanks, YouTube. Alright. Fucking hell. G feels okay. I had one where it's like some peach flavor fine monster is amazing. I like blue monsters and white monsters. I don't know. Those two monsters are just really nice. I haven't had them in a bit, but I, li I do like those type of monsters. It's fine? Okay. So YouTube's just bullshitting me. Good to know. This is my favorite guns, Joe. I got my Hurricane, I got my MP5, I'm gonna shred people no, 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 with no, no, it. No, 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 none of this is gonna work. Take it all off. Take it all off. What? Yeah, you can't use the MP5. Why? First, I you gotta, gotta use the MP5. If you wanna use the MP5, you gotta yeah. use this one first. What? Single shot. I hate skits. I. I really hate skits in videos. They're really uncomfortable to watch. Because it's like watching a bad comedy, right? You know that they're trying to make something funny and, and be like, in the known, you know? But it just feels really painful. <laughs> I fucking hate skits. I really do. It, it's just like, you, I don't think I've ever laughed at a skit like this before. How was your Christmas? Hope it was we went well. I yeah, it was pretty good. I liked it. It was a really nice. Got a stand up desk, and I'm using right now and standing up, and like talking and and moving around and stuff. It's kind of cool. I kind of like it. It's a really cool desk.
I like it. You like these skits? Do you like them ironically? Or unironically? <laughs> that would be my next question, because... I don't know, man. Like, even, like as a Neil Breen film, I love Neil Breen. But that's because he thinks he's making genuinely good art. That's why. And it's hilarious. Watching this, I feel like they think they're making cheap garbage. And they think that off of its own is funny. It's just, I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me. Some are good, but this one, it's unnatural and unfunny. Maybe they are good. I don't know. I just... Like, again, I dropped out of Angry Joe in... Fuck, when was the last time I sat through an Angry Joe review? I'm not trying to remember. Destiny? Maybe? Destiny 1? <laughs> like, that was the last Angry Joe video I've ever seen. So... With this one, it's... Oh, yeah, I already read that. It's a perfect description of the game in terms of Angry Joe skits. I mean... Sure? <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, you have to use different guns, but... I mean, it's kind of wrong on how he's portraying it, though. The to, to upgrade... Not to sound fucking stupid, but... The the progression system in the game, like, let's say, okay, I use the M5 in the game, because I just, like, is it the M4? I don't fucking remember. I use the M4, the starting automatic uh, assault rifle in the game, and there is one specific site I needed to use, right? And that site had a family tree connected to it, and that family tree is kind of like the same, I think it's the same barrel type or uh, calibration or something, I don't know. But it's in the same tree, the M5 tree, or M4 tree. So, like, when I used the machine gun that used the M4 tree, I unlocked the sight. It wasn't this complete random of, like, oh, an MP5 with a fucking M14. It's like, like I guess, yeah, sure, it gets the point across somewhat, but <laughs> it's a bit misleading. I don't know. I don't really find it that funny. I guess. I don't know. Like, again, I just never got into skits and videos like those. So. So now they lost their touch with the effort they put into videos. I didn't say they lost their touch. I just said I never seen their videos. I mean, if, if this is their effort, I mean, this isn't really that difficult of an effort. Put down a green screen, wear, like, a vest with plastic guns, and pretend... Like, that's not that much effort, but sure. <laughs> like, I'm not saying that they didn't put effort, but I didn't say they lost their touch. So, you were saying how Joe needs to lay off the chili cheese burrito, yet look at your face cam. Yo, I'm a sexy beast, okay? <laughs> look, look at my sexy ass, all right? I live up to my six pack right there in front of your face all right can you play battlefield 2042 on steam deck i don't think you can i haven't tried what yeah how does that make sense in it order makes to total sense oh my i mean it does make sense in the game how the progression works but i mean i guess in the in the sense of the joke sure god all right i guess i guess i'm gonna use this yeah, and uh, what are, gotta hop thing? off. All right, we'll see you later. You yeah. can't have that right now. Have a wonderful Christmas. Yeah. yeah, why not? Because you need to upgrade it. What, 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 what do I need to upgrade? Here, take this pistol. What? A pirate pistol? Yeah. How am I supposed to kill anybody with this? You have to upgrade these first, and then you get your good stuff. Oh. Okay. But you still need to upgrade these bad boys. What? Uh. A lightsaber, and okay. All right, I, I guess. All right, now you look like you're ready for battle. Okay, so I'll just play Call of Duty with shitty guns that I don't like, and then eventually I can play with the ones I like? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. All right, let's go. All right.
Yeah, hell yeah, man. Fucking rocking the music. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Huh? This year's Call of Duty. It's a great game. I friggin' love it. Oh my god. Target. Do you guys sometimes get the impression that Angry Joe exaggerates, like, in all of his videos, it seems? Like, I've only seen I've only seen this bit, and it's just like, I don't know, you're a bit over-exaggerating that, man. And it's like, ooh, it's, I don't know. It's just shooting a missile. It's not that crazy. <laughs> Ghost is so fucking cool. You just met him. This is like literally the beginning of the game. You just okay. Hey, do y'all remember when they said they had no fucking characters in Call of Duty? <laughs> I can't help it. Look, it's clearly got some issues that we're gonna talk about, but it's just a fun ass video game. It's me, A Vargas, Angry Joe Vargas. I'm in the game. 10 out of 10. Where my check at? It is easily better than last time's Vanguard. Wait! Just move your head just a little. Wait, Pete! Arthur Lucas! <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys think? Yay or nay on this so far? Oh, I... Ooh, fucking angry Joe, man. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> did you play the campaign for this game, or did you just play the multiplayer and not play COD? I played a little bit of the campaign. I got, like, one or two hours into it, and then I kind of just fell off after that, so, yeah. On the guy who is on stag with Kretosis, this is actually how he is like in real life. Really? This is how he really is in real life, huh? Fuck. Nay, 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 gay. Okay. Because, oh man, I don't know if I could sit through 37 minutes of this. This is what I mean. Like, this is a 37 minute video. Normally, I would be like, this is nothing. But. I don't know. Those four minutes are fucking brutal. They're really brutal. Shit. I dropped my earpiece. There we go. I got it back, though. <laughs> All right. Um... What, should, what else should we watch? I guess you guys said something about his uh, Callisto Protocol video. Again, haven't seen Callisto Protocol, so I have very, very little context of the game, honestly. <laughs> or we can watch something else. I don't know what else to watch, though. Nothing. Nothing's really interesting lately. Everything's kind of been bland. You think you got a palate cleanser? All right, we'll shoot it over. Well, we'll do one more video. How about that? Nuketown ruined Call of Duty maps. What? Okay, wait a minute. What? Fifty thousand people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. U.S. Marine. November fifth, two thousand seven. Activision oh releases. god, are we really going to get the entire history of Call of Duty again? This is the next installment in the Call of Duty franchise, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Developed by Infinity Ward, COD 4 took the gaming industry by storm, becoming one of the most played first-person shooters of its time, and launching one of the biggest multiplayer FPS communities to the titles. Modern Warfare more arcade in COD 4 this map to develop the title Cold War. Black Ops 4 being the... You're taking off. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. I'm waiting until we get to Nuketown. <clears throat> and it surely shows. Fun, easy-to-make arcade-style maps became the style of Treyarch games. 
Connecting the campaign and multiplayer in mostly no way, they would continue hijacking magma, visually appealing maps with no direct connection to the USA. This map quickly became a fan favorite and has been placed in every Black Ops multiplayer since. With the massive popularity of this map, the development team made a change in map design. Instead of complex war settings, they could make small, colorful maps or just remaster old maps. Remastering old maps wasn't a new thing to Call of Duty, but it was few and far in between. But with each passing year, that would change. With last year's title, Cold War, having 10 remastered maps in multiplayer alone. All the while, Modern Warfare 2 had only 5 remasters and Black Ops having only 1. They would stick with this theme for multiple games to come, having only about 4 remastered maps. What is this fucking music? More beer? Oh, uh, yeah. One for each DLC season. With Black Ops 4 being the first to break this cycle with nine. Are you going to play Dead Space Remake? I was thinking about it, right? I was thinking about it. Maybe I should play it through Dead Space Remake. But I'm also going through the original Dead Space, and I haven't gotten through that yet. I'm still, like, in Chapter 2. <laughs> and, um, I was thinking maybe I could play through the remake and, like, see if I could find some bad reviews or something on the game make responses to them but the problem is i don't know enough about dead space and like i haven't gone back to the game in like over weeks by now so do you like nuketown i enjoy nuketown yeah <clears throat> it's one of the few maps that i really enjoy from call of duty you yeah. know nine remastered maps Call of Duty was losing its touch with its campaign, <coughs> marketing its multiplayer as its own separate entity in the same game. Black Ops 2 having more fun maps like Rush, Grind, Hijack, and Magma. Visually, who cares about Call of Duty anymore? Yeah, I was expecting this guy to like talk about Nuketown and why it's bad, but he hasn't really gone to that yet. Opinion: It's not made as well as older titles. Call of Duty lost its gritty war feel to its multiplayer for a more fun, appealing look to its map. Change isn't a bad thing for the most part. Look at you, jetpacks. But the feel you had in older games that you were a soldier fighting for your side's victory was lost in these newer titles. The giant pink octopuses or enlarged picnic tables, you no longer had that feeling of a war vet who only has his gun and a few teammates to help him out of his hell. It became more fun in games, what I call a huge lack of creativity. Newtown was the first of... You can maybe criticize Isaac Clark's face in the remake. I heard about that. People are getting an uproar about Isaac Clarke's face in the remake. I didn't look too far into it, because again, I never played the original or the remake that much. Or the original that much. But, but I think I think I might end it here. I'm pretty tired. So I I will I will talk to you all later. You have a wonderful Christmas. And a happy new year. If I don't talk to you guys again. And remember, you know, do stuff, you know. I don't know. <laughs> I'll see you all later.